and so the teachers helped me here to get better grades which are like a really big thing for universities at US so uh, with swimming coach Colin has helped me to get my times better which uh, which helped me to participate uh, at European juniors twice world juniors championship once and European youth Olympic Games and also with that um, I got into university at Fresno State, California, which I'm going next year. So after school, uh, I'm gonna go to University in the United States, which is Fresno State University of California, where um, I got a scholarship to swim in Division I University and compete uh, with the best universities in the United States uh, in NCAA competition. While I'll be swimming in the United States at university, I'm also aiming to um, qualify for uh, European Championships or World Championships and also qualify for Paris 2024 Olympics. So there is a huge diversity in boarding as people are from around the world. Brazil, US, Australia, Asia, Europe, Africa, uh, which is amazing because you get to know about new cultures, new languages, and over time you become more than like bilingual because you can speak like their other like other people's languages, which is like really nice. Because like the next time you're gonna go like to Spain, you're gonna be able to speak Spanish because you had friends from there, so. So boarding house is like uh, literally like your own house. Uh, at the first floor we have a living room, we have a kitchen, we have a uh, reading area and we have uh, study rooms uh, which we spend the most of our times there uh, hanging out with our friends or cooking or reading or just having like uh, everyday meetings. Um, and we also have a pool table, we have a tennis table. So my most favorite subject at school is art since I'm interested in that since I was four years old and I've been doing this my whole life. And also the teacher here is amazing. She's introducing to us like a lot of new art, art artworks and uh, new artists who are coming to our like school on campus and they're like, we're working with them and they're like teaching us how to use uh, specific material or how to do some specific art. I would say that this school offers more than any other school could. Um, we have here best teachers, best coaches, best staff, which are motivating and they're gonna help your child no matter what, anytime, 24 seven. And um, your child is gonna be become more independent and more responsible and it's gonna teach him more like social life skills. And uh, then campus is like really safe. The food is really good. and. Here you will find everything what you need. There are a lot of things I'm gonna miss about this school, starting with uh, school, uh, swimming, boarding, people, food, staff, everything. Even the grass here, it's amazing. I'm gonna miss literally everything, even the palm trees. Like the weather is, is amazing and I'm, yeah. Bamrungrad International Hospital has been a global pioneer in providing world-class healthcare services and international patient support in the heart of Bangkok. With our strong foundation, we ensure that patients from each country are treated equally with care. Bamrungrad aims to be a destination that offers world-class holistic healthcare through the integration of medical treatment and holistic prevention medicine. We focus on being the medical center of sophisticated innovation and technology, delivered by a transdisciplinary team through humanized care and our unique Bamrungrat way, while meeting world-class quality and safety standards.
Hi, my name is Jessica Ann Mitcher. I'm in year 13. I'm Thai American. My mom is Thai and my dad's American. I joined BISP in year 11, 2021. I'm pretty sure, I think, in IGCSE. I'm part of Cruzeiro um, Football Academy and um, yeah, I've taken part in that ever since I came here. Um, my passion is definitely when it comes to pursuing what I want in the future. I want to be a wildlife veterinarian. Um, I've always loved animals when it came to growing up. I was always situated around them in my house. And um, when, it, when it came to like choosing what I want in college, definitely for applications and stuff like that, I chose to go with the animal route even though I am here for football. Um, I chose definitely to go over there and to support my passion in animals. I would say one of my key talents is definitely being confident in um, speech and being like in, in an area of people, I'm able to pursue what I like and to demonstrate my interests in front of people and I think that's very important when it comes to um, the areas in which I want to pursue in college, being a veterinarian or like being anything in terms of um, situations with people, I think it's very good to have confidence in yourself and self-respect, especially with different opinions in communities and stuff like that, being able to research and to um, talk about your own opinions is a very important in my opinion and that's one of mine. I would say <laughs> even um, doing IB is an accomplishment for me. Um, IB is a very hard curriculum and I've realized throughout the years that um, just every everything that I'm doing is like a stepping stone towards who I'm going to be in the future. Um, IGCSE at that time was my greatest accomplishment, now it's IB and I really hope moving forward ending year 13 um, college will be my greatest success. Um, that would be my parents definitely because every single day um, they reach out to me, they hope that I'm okay and ever since a child that I was able to gain all this confidence because of how they viewed me. They, they always pushed me in the areas where I was passionate about and wherever I felt that I was lacking or the felt that I was um, not very confident or interested in certain subjects, they would always waver me, give me suggestions, give me other ways that I could motivate myself and um, show what I'm actual cap actually capable of. And when it came to IB, especially here, I found that um, in certain subjects that I used to be good at or um, used to be challenging for me um, with their support and with other people's support like tutoring, my house parents, my coaches, like all of them helped me to like become the person that I am today and that really secured me in my life and I really support them and I hope they support me throughout my life. Well, there are a lot of things that I would like to highlight but definitely the community here is big. Um, ever since I came here, because I'm a boarder also, um, everybody felt very welcoming. I felt welcomed here. At, it felt like my second home. I was always very excited to come here after holidays, after little breaks here and there, because the people here are very assertive, but at the same time, they have their different opinions and they're able to show that themselves without being put down or let down. and. Um, every single time I came here, because I left most of the time for um, primary school and stuff like that, when I came into secondary and high school, I felt that everybody was just being really welcoming and I love that the community here is great. Boarding life um, has been great to me. I haven't had any problems with that. I feel like the Miss Magley, Miss Michelle, my boarding parents, Miss Sam, have been very accustomed to like what I want. Um, they've been very generous with how they, um, what they gave to me and what situations that I was in. In terms of being homesick, they were always there. They allowed me to call on call on their phones when I didn't have my phone. The, the food is great, they, they're always asking questions and how to improve and I think that's great when it comes to being a community because you need to, it's hard to like 
satisfy everybody's interests, but at the end of the day, they are doing the best that they can, and that's all we could ask for. Like I said previously, I think I've accomplished a lot in terms of the stepping stones that I have um, done. Um, IGCSC, IB, definitely my personality as a um, student, as a person, grew a lot from coming here, having to depend not only on other people but on myself. Um, having certain situations where I couldn't turn to my parents or couldn't turn to people that were relatives of me, close to me. Um, I felt that I built a lot of reassurance and self-confidence that when I am to go to college somewhere else, um, that I would be able to support myself, but also no other means to adapt to and to be able to like support me in my travels or my um, passions elsewhere. I'm part of the Cruzera Academy. I joined in year 11 where um, I wasn't the greatest player. I came from a school team where by means that Cruzero is nowhere near a school team. It is definitely an academy. They take care of your interests. They make sure that you are in lines, if you're an, uh, like a sports scholar, in lines with um, pursuing football in the future. They're always looking for what you want to do, where do you want to go in terms of going to Europe, to the US, to Australia. There are all sorts of things that they want to do for you. Um, they push you to your fullest like every single day from training. I am tuckered out. I am so tired that I just want to lie on my bed, but homework is key. Don't say it's not. But um, definitely Cruzero is always there for your interest. They make sure before every training to uh, ask questions, to see if everybody is involved in the technical aspects and also in the game. They make sure every, most people have um, game time. They, they really engulf everyone's perspective and interests into one academy and they make sure that you grow as not only an individual with um, different interests but a footballer um, with ethics, with like um, motivation, with all sorts of things. They, they're also very much intertwined with their academics. Um, this is an academic and sports school, so that is very big in this course. Um, I also believe that Cruzera really engulfs the idea of school and sports because no matter the occasion where you're feeling that you need help in your academics, Cruzera is never going to hinder you from that. They will always be appreciative of an email to the coach saying like, look, I need to go to tutoring or anything like that. Um, they're very, they're here to support you. So whatever you do, if you're here for football, if you're here for the academics, they're always here for you and no matter what. Right now, I hope that I am able to pass my IBs with flying colors and I hope that that allows me to pursue my passions in um, my college and I hope that wh whoever I choose and whatever I go to will truly help me in pursuing my passions in animals but also I hope to um, still support sports and be a part of like a program, a club. I just hope for the future um, we'll be open arms and I'll have a lot of doors that are open to me when it comes to my passions and what I like. I would definitely say if your student is a um, is a sports person, is very big into extracurricular activities, or they might be getting older or like wanting to pursue colleges elsewhere that the family may not go to, I think boarding and um, being in this community is a great um, way to to develop those interests and those feelings because. At the end of the day, training is very difficult. You want to walk five meters. It's very close to your boarding house to take a shower, a quick shower, and food is always available. You will never go hungry here. So I feel like boarding is a great way to grow as your own person because you won't always um, develop with your parents. I feel like you, especially me, I relied a lot on them. And when I came here, I had to find my own ways and paths to encourage myself and do well. So I hope that other families will see this as an area of growth for not only their kids, but when they grow up, they won't be lost in college and etc. cetera. Um, first off, when I first came here, I would say my boarding house parents were the first ones to support me in my move because 
At first, uh, I spent minimal amount of time away from my parents. I lived with my parents all my life. And when I came here, it was hard. I felt homesick. I was always surrounded by people that I knew for all my life. When I came here, it was a whole different um, environment and they helped me throughout every single day. They would check on me, they would make sure that I was feeling okay with my environment and that I felt safe and that I felt that I had other people to support me other than the parents that were like miles away. Um, furthermore, I feel like my teachers were a great support when it came to that. Um, like I said, in year 11, it was hard for me to adapt because I came in the second year where the exams were coming into play. And when that happened, I felt lost, um, sincerely felt like I was going to fail, but every single time that that came into my head, the teachers were always there to comfort me, to help me in my growth, and to always be there, no matter in tutoring or in mental support, that they were always there. And I can't um, imagine my life here without my friends, without my team, Cruzero, without anybody there, because they made this place honestly feel like home. And thanks. <laughs>
for the team rankings. In eighth place with 334 points is Kings Bangkok. In seventh place is Hangzhou Zhang Yang Swim Club with 336. Just two points in head, so it's heating up. Trident Mainmar Swim Team sit in sixth place with 444 with the ISS Samui Sharks. One place ahead of them in fifth with 542 points. The KIS Barracudas on 692 occupying that fourth spot. And the LJ Swimming Club in third position with 826 Aqua Panthers just pipping them to that second place on 883 and the BISB Sea Eagles swimming team on 2,203 occupying that top position at the moment. Let's see if throughout the rest of this day the rankings change and see which team comes out on top as we progress through today's swimming races. If the LJ swim team coach could please make their way to the timing area just over here. That is the LJ swimming coach please making their way over here. If you know where the coach is, please go and find them. Thank you very much.
Tension and pressure is starting to rise as we approach the two minute mark until our first race gets underway. to get underway with our first race of the day. Well and truly underway with our first race of the day. This is the girls 10 and under 100 meter breaststroke. Nang from Trident Maymar swim team leads through the first.
an excellent race to start today's proceedings. We are underway in heat two. This is a full BISP race covering all eight lanes. In lane one, we have Sienna Perkins. In lane two, we have Laney Kim. In lane three is Vivian Lyons. In lane four is Juliet McGuigan. Serena Apertasing is in lane five. Fifi Gray occupies lane six with Leona just on her outside. And Anna is in lane number eight. It's looking tight for that top position. It looks like any four of our swimmers could take it here. Sienna, Laney, Leona and Anna all look like they're in the running for this top spot. See if they can push each other all the way. Fifi going stroke for stroke. With Sienna coming back on the inside, trying to take it down the last couple of strokes. Who's going to get it all the way to the touch pad? It's looking tight. I would not like to be the judge calling this one. And Heat 3 gets underway. We've had two brilliant races to start. Let's see if this third one can continue that streak.
Zawadi from the UWC Manta Rays looks to have a commanding lead. Can the athlete in lane number seven, who is Mina, also from UWC. Let's see if they can push each other. Fellow teammates looking to go all the way to the wire. Battle for third is well and truly heating up with all three girls in the running. Margot, Mina <clears throat> and Eva really looking to go all the way. Another brilliant race. looking extremely tight as they reach that halfway point. Juan Ma from the ISS Samui Sharks has got a commanding lead but it's really heating up in that race for second. Samui Sharks 1-2 to me an excellent swim from their team in that race And that 
that is our penultimate heat getting underway. Heat five of six. If you are competing in event number 41, which is the girls 10 and under 50 meter backstroke, please can you make your way to the marshalling area? from BISPC Eagles seems to have a slight lead but it's looking close and it's heating up as they reach with 25 meters to go let's get behind the athletes Alicia from UWC seems to have just taken it over AP in these last few strokes. Has AP got anything left to give to get that comeback? Noise means that our final heat of our first event, event number 39, is underway. The girls under 10, 100 meter breaststroke. Teresa from LJ has got off to a good lead, pushing herself away from the pack. Closely followed by her two teammates, Maggie and Kate, also from LJ. It's going to be a tight one. from BISP making a late surge through the middle also in lane two Rita Chen from Aqua Panthers is really pushing her way to that line it's going to be tight for that second and third spot with Teresa claiming that top spot What an excellent way to conclude our first event of this morning's session. We now move on to the event number 40, the boys 10 and under 100 meter breaststroke.
and heat one of our boys event is underway that is just a reminder that if you are in event number 41 the girls 10 and under 50 meter backstroke you should be at marshalling and event number 42 boys 10 and under 50 meter backstroke please make your way over to the marshalling area It's looking like a dead heat right now between the two Trident Myanmar athletes, Nathan and Hein and Luca from the Water Eagles is in there as well. This is going to be a really tight race. They're looking close. Who can get that faster turn? from Trident Mima has put some distance between the other two however it is going to be close for that second and third spot Luca from the Water Eagles is looking not to let it be a Trident Mima 1-2 let's see if he can keep that up all the way to the line Heat number two has got off to a very good start with the BCIS swimmer in lane four. Simon Sala claiming an early lead. Everyone else looking to reel him back in stroke by stroke. Nikita from BCIS as well is looking like his closest rival right now
as I said, for a lot of these athletes, it's not just about getting that first place ribbon. It's about breaking their personal best, breaking their PBs and pushing themselves as hard as they can, especially in such a competitive meet like this one. with Brian from the ISS. Some Mui Sharks coming in in that third spot. Number three is underway. BISP with seven athletes in this race. In lane one, Kai Lambert. In lane two, Zainan. In lane three, Altan. In lane four is Moshi. In lane five is Arthur. From KIS breaking up this BISP party is Liam. In lane six, in lane seven is Max. And in lane eight is Stefan. Topple that BISP pile. He's looking like he's out in front right now with Stefan in lane eight, looking like his closest rival. In lane two, Zanen's putting up a good fight. He looks like he might have just taken the lead in the last few strokes. looking very close for that top spot let's get behind the swimmers as they come down this last little 50, 25 meter stretch <laughs> tensions building excitement's rising Zaynan looks to be one stroke ahead can he keep that going into the final few meters can Stefan close on Liam to claim that third spot? the BISPC Eagles claiming the top spot in that race. SPC Eagles, we have Jensen in lane two. We have Jownai from the KIS Barracudas. In lane three, we have Mark from the Tanya Pura Phuket team. In lane four, we have Merlin from the ISS Samui Sharks. 
and then four BIS people finishing off this race. In lane five, we have Arsene. In lane six, we have Jake. In lane seven, we have the other Arsene. And in lane eight, we have Ferry. It's looking like the tightest heat of the boys so far. I can't quite tell who's ahead right now. It looks so close. Night from the Barracudas and Merlin uh, look like they're in sync right now. They are well and truly going stroke for stroke as it is tw 25 meters to go. This is going to be a tight one. They look inseparable right now. Has anybody got enough in the tank to claim that victory in the last two meters? This is going down to the wire. Who's got the glide? Who's got the touch? Here we go. It's going to be close on that line. Whoa, what an excellent race from those two out in front. And it's very close from the three BISP students behind. Well done once again to all of the swimmers in that race. This is looking like a very quick race as they go through that first 25 meter marker. Iaga from the Samui Sharks looks to have that top spot. Very, very closely followed by the athletes in fourth which is William from the Hangzhou Zhang Yang Swim Club in lane one we have Mika from the ISS Samui Sharks Bobby's in lane two from the LJ Swim Team Marco from BISP William from the Hangzhou Zhang Yang Swim Club Yaga from the ISS Samui Sharks Nam from the KIS Barracudas Nam from Nam from the KS Barracudas, Miller from Hang Xiao, Zhang Yang Swim Club as well, and Harry Walker also from the KIS Barracudas. It is very tight going to the line. This looks like Williams just reeled him back in, but it's going very tight. Another excellent race. All these athletes pushing each other to their absolute best. And final heat is underway.
All eight athletes look neck and neck right now. Shang Yuan and Tom Kuhn turn at exactly the same time. In lane three, Fema's looking to close the ground on those two athletes out in front, and he's doing a very good job right now. This is looking like another dead heat as we go through with 25 meters to go. It's far too close to cool. Yankee from UWC is looking to make a late surge on the inside lane. Tom looks like he has the lead right now from the Samui Sharks. Can he maintain it? Another brilliant race. Excellent support on the sidelines from the Samui Sharks. Once again, well done to all those athletes. That does conclude our 100 meter breaststroke for the boys and the girls there. We now move on to event number 41, which is the girls 10 and under 50 meter backstroke. Can I please ensure that event number 42, boys 10 and under 50 meter backstroke are at the marshalling area and event number 43 girls 10 and under 50 meter freestyle are almost ready to make their way Bamrungrad International Hospital has been a global pioneer in providing world-class healthcare services and international patient support in the heart of Bangkok. With our strong foundation, we ensure that patients from each country are treated equally with care. Bamrungrad aims to be a destination that offers world-class holistic healthcare block, so through the integration of medical treatment and holistic prevention medicine. We focus on being the medical center of sophisticated innovation and technology, delivered by a transdisciplinary team through humanized care and our unique Bamrungrat way, while meeting world-class quality and safety standards. in event number 41. This is a vet heat one of 12. 50 meters, so it is just one length, so they've got to give everything. This is a sprint. This is a all Trident Mainmar swim team affair. All these athletes train together, they work hard together. Let's see who can come out on top.
An excellent swim from Nang. Closely followed by Shui Mo Kaka. And very close as well was Mo Pai Son Mei. An excellent race from all three of those athletes. Fifi Gray from the Sea Eagles looks to have a bit of a lead at the moment. But the Packer closely following her, trying to gain it back, stroke by stroke, meter by meter. The Katarina and Sand in lane one and two look like they are neck and neck right now. And out all there, all alone on the far side in lane seven is Elizaveta. Victoria from BCIS is trying to spoil that BISB one, two, three, four. Can she do it in these last few strokes? Keep going, goes. You are so close. Keep pushing. Victoria is coming back in the last few strokes, looking to spoil that BISB party. Another brilliant swim, well done. Angela from UWC and Harper Bell from BISB are neck and neck as they come through that 25 meter mark. Amy Zhang on the far side from Branksome Hall is really close to that top. It's going to be close for that second place. I think Harper Bell has that first place wrapped up. But Angela's making a late surge. Great swim from the Sea Eagles Harper Bell to claim that top spot. Angela with that third spot. And it was too close to call for that third and final.
is looking extremely close as of now. See if anybody can create some separation. As they approach that midway point, it's looking extremely tight. Nathur and Nina in lane one and lane seven look like they are in front. However, in lane in lane seven, Inc is making a late charge for that victory. In lane two as well. What a close race. The crowd rise with noise as they approach that halfway point. Kalia from the ISS and Mui Sharks looks to be in the lead right now, but it's tight for that second and third spot. Anybody's game right now. Well done, Kalia, an excellent race. Keep pushing, you're so close now. Keep going all the way through. is the halfway point. This is heat six of 12. All the athletes have got off to an excellent start. Juliet from the Sea Eagles looks to just be in front right now by about a length. But on the far side in lane eight, Phoebe from the ISS to Mui Sharks. And in lane two with a late is Elsa Lee. She's looking to close that. Another brilliantly tightly contested race from all of our athletes. This is looking like the closest race of the day so far.
with Alexia. Emma and Eloise all up for that top spot. It's very close behind as well. Who's going to claim those? Far too close for me to call that one. The ISS and Mui Sharks fans really leading the way. Let's get behind these athletes. And we are underway. The ISS coaches and parents are really setting the tone and the volume. Excellent work from them, encouraging every athlete. Excellent swim there. And we're away in heat number nine. Freya from the Aqua swim team is looking like she's in the lead right now out there in lane seven. But very close behind her is a Yuri from KCB in lane number two. As they pass me, it's looking very close. I think Yuri's just overtaken with the victory. It's tightly contested between lane four, which is Anna, and lane six, which is Paulina, for that third spot. Very close behind as well. These athletes going as hard as they can, putting on a real show for all of our spectators out here. Excellent support on the sidelines. Another hotly contested race right now. See so when from the LG swimming team. But with the late surges, Helen Yu from the Hangzhou. Can Helen hang on in that lane number three? Very tight for that second spot as well. Another brilliant race. And we are underway in our penultimate heats of the girls 10 and under 50 meter backstroke. <laughs> Teresa from LJ looks to be in a commanding lead. 
with Naomi and Yasmin either side of her from the Aqua Panthers either side. It's close throughout this whole race. Esenia and Yajai closing quick on each other. fitting song because I do have a good feeling about this race here it's looking competitive from the off in lane number four you're out from the LJ swimming team I seem to be saying their team's name quite a lot she has got a lead by a couple of lengths right now but it's very tight for that second spot can A, B close in for that number two or will she be picked by her teammate Maria all the way to the line? Late search from Dow Chai from the KIS Barracudas too. heat of event number 42 it is the boys 10 and under 50 meter backstroke Jackson from KIS Barracudas looks to be in the lead but closely followed by Daniel and Nye Excellent swim there from Jackson and from Daniel and from Nifon Lin. Jonathan from the Sea Eagles. Lane three is Jacob from a UWC Manta Rays. Dylan from KIS with a commanding lead in lane five from the Sea Eagles is Jesse. In lane four is Daniil from BISB. Lane six is Michael from BISB. Andre from BISB in lane seven. And Durasit Dawi from the Trident Meemar swim team in lane number eight. 
Great swim out there from the Trident Meanwhile swimmer. Signals the start of heat number three. Damon looks like he's out in front right now. Being hunted down by Zayn and looking for his second win of this morning's session. Third place is occupied by Stefan. And it's neck and neck right now for that fourth position. claims his second victory of this morning's session. Just a reminder that everybody in event number 43, the girls 10 and under 50 metre freestyle, can they make their way up to the marshalling area along with all our athletes in event number 44, the boys 10 and under 50 metre freestyle. This is heat number four of our boys 10 and under 50 metre backstroke. In lane one, John from the Sea Eagles looks like he has a slight lead over Nikita from BCIS who occupies that lane number eight on the very far side from me. Looks like John's going to claim that victory. It's looking tight for that second spot between Dylan and Nikita. Nikita just gets that touch. CIS swimmers in lane one, two, and three are neck and neck as they come down to that last 20 meters. It's tight between these three for the top. Looks like Daniil just has the lead over Grigory and Oleg.
Neil holds on to get that win. An excellent race from the other athletes in the other lane. Moshi, Felix, George, Ben. Dylan Koo from Branksome Hall Asia has that couple of length lead over Felix Fu from LJ in lane number four on the far side in that lane number eight Alta no very sorry of the BISBC Eagles Simon from the Head Start at what Panthers. In lane number two is Nam from the KIS Barracudas. Lane three is Arsene from the BISPC Eagles. Bogdan also from the Head Start Aqua Panthers is in lane number four. Liam from KIS Barracudas, lane number five. Arthur Yip from the Sea Eagles in lane six. Mark from the Aqua Panthers and Oltan from the Sea Eagles is in lane number eight. Great swim on the far side from Mark, claiming that top position. The other swimmers were not too far behind at all. is underway it started off extremely quick who's gonna separate themselves from the other swimmers in this race Cambridge from the LJ swimming team is currently in the lead in that lane number six closely followed by the man just on his inside from ISS and movie shots is Mika on the very far side, Platon from the Sea Eagles and making a late charge for it is Bobby Chen, also from the LJ swimming team. Excellent race there in lane six from Cambridge, leading from the start of the race. Thank you. 
looks very tight through that first 15 meters. Looking like another very close race on that far side. Ryan looks like he might have a slight lead over the rest of the swimmers. I think this might be Ryan's race, but that does not mean it's over. It's looking close. In lane number three, Mavi from VISB looking to get that second spot. Closely chased down by his two teammates, Elise and Jake. Great swim on that far side from Ryan. From the Brands home for Asia School. Very close in the athletes in lane three and four. FEMA from the Aqua Panthers and the Fat from KIS. Looking like the Fat from heads from KIS. Sorry, he's just started to create a little bit of distance. Very quick start by Freddie Fu from the LJ swim team in that lane number three. Not too far behind him is Fine from KCB. Fine from King's College Bangkok has taken the lead going into the last couple of meters. Freddie Fu's coming back very fight, very fast. He's not giving up without that fight. Well done to everybody in that race. Claiming out fourth spot was Peter Zhang from the Hangzhou Zhang Yang Swim Club. And we're off with our final heat of our boys. 10 and under 50 meter backstroke. It's very close as they start off in lane number four. Looking like he's got the lead right now is Tom Cunn. Being close, very, very close by Nathan Chi from the LJ swimming team. Nathan looks like he's got the lead going into this last stretch, but Tom is not giving up without that fight. He's pushing him all the way to the line. It's neck and neck as they go to the last meter. What a brilliant race from those two out in front, and everybody else is closing in now, looking to break some PBs. And that does conclude event number 42. Excellent swimming from all of those boys out there. And we're away with our first event number 43 heat. This is the girls 10 and under 50 meter freestyle. These will be some of the quickest races we see today.
and Thune Kanan from the Trident main mass swimming team. Looks like she has a commanding lead. Being closely followed by Shui Mo Kaka from the same team. From the Water Eagles is Sophia looking to spoil that party. Trying to stop the Trident main mark getting that one, two, three. It's going to go right down to the wire between her and Mo Price. Son May. What a great way to start our 50 meter freestyles this morning. And we're away with heat number two. It's a very quick start from Nang from Trident. From Trident Maymar, she's got away very quick as she comes through that 25 meter mark. It's very tightly contested by the rest of the pack coming through the middle part of the race right now. What an excellent swim out in front. Great swim by Nang out in front in lane number one. Looking for that second position is Sophia from the Water Eagles. And that third place is looking like it's going to be very tight right now. Could be any one of these three athletes. Victoria Ekaterina or Elizaveta, any one of them could claim that third position. Keep going, girls, all the way. Lane number five, Fifi Gray is looking for her second victory of this morning session, but she is very, very closely followed by Harper Bell, her teammate. It's going right to the wire between these two Sea Eagles athletes. And the two KIS athletes back, battling it out for that third position. Leah and Margot. Can Leah close the gap on Margot going into that last five meters? On the far side, Sand swimming excellently, trying to break her personal best. looking like pretty much a dead heat as they come through after the first 25 meters Sienna Perkins looking to create a little bit of separation with Nina her teammate looking to chase her down can Sienna hold on in that front position and once again it's going to be very tight going all the way down they go stroke for stroke meter for meter who's going to claim this victory very, very close on the line. Very close for third place as well.
and we're away in that heat. Heat number five of 13 is underway. Angela from the UWC Manta Rays looks to have a controlling lead. Sarah from BCIS is not giving up easy though, chasing her all the way to the line. Olga looking to push her teammate and Pippa on the line. It's a very fast start in this heat. Six of 13 of our girls under 10's 50 meter freestyle event. Looking like they're in the lead right now is Juliet McGuigan from the Sea Eagles. Closely followed by the girl in her outside lane, Natha from Tanya Pura. Making a late search for that victory in the far side is Zawadi from the UWC Manta Rays. It's going right down to the wire. Can Julia hold on through these last few strokes? This race signals the halfway point of our girls. 10 and under 50 meter freestyle race. Excellent support on the sideline. Let's get behind all of these swimmers. It's looking like a dead heat right now. Scarlett Veronica pushing each other all the way. On the very far side, Laney Kim from the Sea Eagles looking to claim a victory in this heat. Can she hold on there, catching? Scarlett making a late push, but on that far side, Laney Kim just holds on to claim that red ribbon. Alicia from the UWC Manta Rays looks like she has a slight lead, but very close behind her is Anna from BISPC Eagles. And with a last minute ditch attempt in lane number five is Anna from the Aqua Panthers.
it's a very tight race coming into that last 15 meter push who's got the most to give in these last few stages of the race excellent support from the sidelines willing on all these swimmers Alina from the Aqua Panthers in lane number six has a slender lead, but she's quickly being hunted down by Rita, her teammate, in lane number three. The two Aqua Panthers athletes pushing each other as hard as they can. It's looking like Rita is going to claim that victory over her fellow teammate. And in lane number five, it is a fresh So it was a one, two, three for the Aqua Panthers in heat number 10. She's pulling away stroke by stroke for the Aqua Panthers. Could this be another freestyle 50 meter win for the Aqua Panthers in heat number 11? I think it is going to be. Excellent swim, and Ali Hudson of the Sea Eagles claims that second position. Competing in event number 45, the girls 9 to 10, 100 meter butterfly. And event number 46, the boys 9 to 10, 100 meter butterfly. Please make their way to the marshalling area. In lane number four, you're out from the LJ swimming team takes the victory in that but second place is very close I think in lane five brought her teammate has just claimed Joen has claimed that second position Freestyle race is underway in lane number four with the commanding leader, Jural, from the LJ swimming team, looking like she is extending that lead stroke by stroke. It's going to be close for this second position, though. In lane number three is Helen Yu, and in lane number five is Maria from BISP. Who's going to claim that second spot?
And that sound begins our event number 44. The boys 10 and under 50 meter freestyle. Hi Nadazar from the Trident of Myanmar. It looks like he is in a lead right now. Closely followed by the man on his inside, Jackson from KIS Barracudas. Nafon Lin on the outside is looking to close that gap on second. But in lane number two, Nathan is looking to beat his teammate to that third place. Sit far from the Trident. Mimar is trying to do what his teammate in the previous heat had just did and claim that victory. But he is closely followed by Wen Ho Chen in lane number seven. Number way is off to a very impressive quick start in lane number four for BISB is Stefan looking like he's got the lead. Slender lead over his teammate in lane number five, Alvin. Currently in third position, hoping to turn that into second in lane number six is Feyman. is going to be a mid-air show down by the amphitheatre that is just to your left-hand side of the pool. I know there will be some very impressive tricks on display down there, so do make your way down there in about 15 minutes' time. But currently in first position, 
in lane number four is Grigory from BCIES closely hunted by Kai Lambert on his inside can Kai close down that gap in the last few strokes Felix Emery BCIES looks to be in third position what an excellent swim It's looking like a very tight race as they are approaching that halfway point in lane number two. Oleg, who looks like he is currently tying with Rafa from the Sea Eagles. Oleg looks like he's starting to pull away a little bit, though. Can Rafa reel him back in through these last couple of metres? On the inside lane, Moshi is going for that third position. Going up against his fellow competitor, Dylan Eiff, also from the Sea Eagles. In lane three, Zainan is going for his third victory into this morning's heat. But can in lane number four, Nikita from PCIS spoil Zainan's fun. On the very far side is John Barracuda from BISBC Eagles 2 going for that third place. Quickly hunted by the Aqua Panthers, Simon. Just to repeat, event number 45 and 46, please make your way to marshalling if you are not there already. We have crossed the halfway point in our event number 44. The boys 10 and under 50 meter freestyle. This one's looking very close on that far side from me. Looking like in lane number seven, Bobby Chen has a slender victory over the man on his inside. Platon from BISP. Can Platon close him down? Nam's not giving up either. Looking to push those two athletes as hard as they can.
It's looking very tight as they go through that first 20 metres as they come up to the halfway point. Can anybody create some distance between them and the other swimmers? It's looking like in lane number three, Daniel, Daniel from BCIS is the man to do this. But in lane six, Dylan is not going down without a fight. They are neck and neck right now through those last few strokes. Heat number nine currently underway in the water. Harry looks like he has a slender lead over Felix. Can Harry hold on to that? I think he's going to do so. Felix, is he going to hold on for that second position? And in third on the far side was Cambridge. This is a reminder that event number 45 and event number 46, which is the boys and girls 100 metre butterfly, please make your way over to the marshalling area. Very tight between the two, B, I, S, B, Arsene and Marco. Very tight on the line. That looked like pretty much a dead heat to me. It's really heating up in our free stars right now as we come into race 11 of 13. In lane number four and a part of the KIS Barracudas looks to have a lead being closely hunted by the man in lane number three, Papine from KCB. These two have been going at it all morning. And in lane number two, definitely not going away without a fight is Yaga of the IAS Samui Sharks. Great support on the far side from the LJ coaches and parents. It's looking close to two athletes in full lane four and lane five. Zing Zing and FEMA really looking to push each other. Can FEMA close him down in the last few strokes? 
It's going to be tight for third as well, but I just think Caden from LJ is going to take that third position. Thirteenth and final 150 meter freestyle boys event is underway. It's looking very close through that middle position right now. It's tied between lane number five and lane number six. Nathan and Ryan. Nathan just has that slender lead. Can Ryan come back in these last few meters? And in lane number one, Patrick from LJ as well. Looked like he got that third position. event number 46 that is the boys 9 to 10 100 meter butterfly please make your way to marshalling they are ready for you same with the girls in event number 45 Millie, Yurao, Yasmin and Marley now gearing up for our event number 45 there is just one heat so this is the final it is winner takes all Girls, 9 to 10, 100 meter butterfly. This is a grueling event. Yurao in lane number four from LJ has the victory, has the win. She is in first position as she hits the turn. This is very impressive from all four of these swimmers.
What a brilliant swim from all of these athletes. Ural coming in with a super time from LJ. It's time for that second place. Millie's looking to close in on Yasmin in these last 10 meters. An excellent swim from Marley as well, pushing herself all the way. First of two boys, 100 meter butterfly. in front trying to recreate what her what his teammate Ural did in the girls event trying to claim that victory in this first heat but Connor and Harry are not going to go down without a fight Harry from KIS trying to reel him back in stroke by stroke Excellent swimming display from LJ Swimming Club. Spready Fu. Can Connor hunt down Harry in these last few meters to claim that silver medal? A tremendous effort from all three of those swimmers as we now prepare for heat number two. off to a tremendous start looking neck and neck through the middle of the first 50 meters the athletes aren't quite halfway there Now they're halfway there as they hit that turn. Zing Zing Lin in that lane number four seems to have a slender lead over FEMA from the Aqua Panthers on his outside. Can FEMA bring back some of that distance? But it looks like Zing Zin is extending his lead every single stroke he's taking. And in lane number seven, Ryan is looks set to get that third place. An excellent swim from all of these athletes. 
This is a tough, cruelling event. Probably the hardest one of the weekend. So this is a top effort from all of those athletes out there today. Okay, we need all of the athletes for the relay should already be up at marshalling. If you are in the freestyle relays, please, you should be up at marshalling. That is event number 47 and event number 48. Just to repeat, any athletes competing in the 200 meter freestyle relays, you should be at marshalling, please, as quick as you can. That is event number 47 and event number 48. has been a global pioneer in providing world-class healthcare services and international patient support in the heart of Down Bangkok. The With our strong foundation, we ensure that patients from races. each country are treated equally with care. Bumrung Rai aims to be a destination the that offers world-class holistic healthcare through the integration of medical treatment and holistic prevention medicine. We focus on being the medical center of sophisticated innovation and technology, delivered by a transdisciplinary team through humanized care and our unique Bumrung Rat way, while meeting world-class quality and safety standards. today.
well done to all seven of those teams. What a way to start off our relays. Yeah, and these next relays follow. Second and final heat gone up very fast in lane four is LJ Swim Team. Can they sustain that for the next couple of legs? BISP looking to close that gap in lane number six. Staying with them, LJ with a very explosive start through this first 50 meters. What a start from Ural Lai. And no surprise that they LJ have entered the water first in that second leg. Can anybody close that gap? BISP are doing their best down in lane number five. The Panthers are looking to do the same. This is gearing up to be another excellent and tense relay. As we are coming up to that halfway point, two legs in. Can LJ continue to extend this lead or can somebody close them down and overtake? AP from BISP will be looking to do just that. Close down Maggie for the LJ swim team. And for the Panthers, they're closing quickly. Kiwi for the Head Start Panthers. It's all going to come down to this final leg. Do the LJ Swim Team have enough to finish off strong? Or can anybody close that distance? The ISP's Ali Hudson is closing fast, but I think she's just got too much work to do. What an excellent swim from the LJ team. Now it's going to be tight for that second place. Can, can the Panthers close down? It's going to be close all the way to the line, but I think BISP are just going to hold on for that second position. Another excellent race. and it is still not over yet with the last BAISB team coming down that last leg right now. Excellent swim to finish off your team's relay. And that does conclude our girls' 10 and under 200 meter freestyle relay as we now come on to the boys' event. time for the boys event as tensions and pressures rise who will prevail in heat number one 
In heat number one, we have three BISP teams. In lane number three, we have Jetin, Pratt, Stefan and Jonathan. Lane number four, we have Elise, Arsene, Arthur and Kai. And lane number five, we have Moshi, Rafa, Ferry and Max. In this BISP battle, who will come out on top? Underway in this first heat of three for the boys 200 meter freestyle. It's a fast start from all four of these teams in lane number four. BISP team are looking to have a slender lead. It is currently the BCIS team and the BISP team in lane number four who are out in front however the BISP team in lane number five are not going down without a fight The third swimmers gear up to enter the water. The BRESP team have extended that lead in that lane number four. What an excellent swim on that second leg for them. Another excellent leg from all of these teams. The BISB team in lane number four ends of the water first as they come on to this final leg. An excellent swim. I think they have well and truly sealed this win. However, I don't want to speak too soon because the BCIS team are charging in the outside lane. Gonna go all the way down to the wire. Can Kai hold on to that top position or can BCIS close them down? Well done. An excellent swim from the BCIS team on that far side. Just had too much to do on that final leg. Another brilliant swim from all four of our relay teams out there as we get ready for heat number two. We are off. 
number two of our boys, 10 and under 200 meter freestyle relay. In lane number four, the Hangzhou Yang Yang Swim Club have got a slender lead over the team on their inside OMS. The Water Eagles. Hangzhou Zhang Yang's second swimmer is going to enter the water first. But the Water Eagles second leg swimmer will not be too far behind at all. Very close now between those two top teams. Can the Hangzhou Zhang Yang Swim Club continue to improve on their lead? Or can the Water Eagles close down that gap? And don't forget about BISB on that outside lane seven. They are not out of this race right now. It's going to be a very tight and close final leg. And the last swimmer is in the water. I don't see anybody catching them from here. Continue to improve on their lead, but it is not over yet. The Water Eagles are closing fast. The Water Eagles are closing very fast in the outside lane. But have they left themselves just a bit too much to do? I think they might. What an other excellent relay race we have just witnessed. Water Eagles coming in in second. BISP, I'm pretty sure, have secured that third spot in this heat number two. to all these athletes this is an extremely tough event you've just swam all your legs so far and now it's tough coming in on that final sprint The standard of swimming we have witnessed so far this morning's session has been nothing short of excellent. And that is not dropping now throughout these relays. What a finish from the BISB team. Really closing down on a close PB time for this quartet. Heat number three prepares to get underway. Our last race of this morning's session. You can hear the support on the sideline. It's tense. Tensions are rising. I can hear, I can feel the atmosphere from the fans.
And we are underway in our third and final heat of the boys. 10 and under 200 meter freestyle. It's a very quick start as they approach our first 25 meters on leg number one. There is no telling any of these teams apart. I think LJ just have a lead in lane number four, but it's so tight. Lane number six, the other LJ team are closing them down fast. The LJ team in lane number four, second swimmer enters the water first. But ISS and Mui Sharks are not going down without a fight. This is some quick swimming we are seeing today. LJ's Caden Yip looking to extend on that lead they currently have. They're looking to build, getting faster and faster in that lane four. As Shang Yuan, Ted Tian enters the water for them. Panthers in lane five have done very well to close that gap on the other LJ team in lane six. Panthers looking too close, trying to separate those LG teams so they do not get that one two. This is our last race of today. Let's hear it from the supporters. Let's get behind all of these athletes. LJ into the water on their final leg. Patrick bringing it home for them. What an excellent swim, and it's going to be tight for that second place. Can the Panthers hold on to split that LJ 1-2? BISP closing in lane number two. This is going to be extremely tight going all the way down to the wire. LJ will claim that first spot, but who wants that second? Jake Lee for BISP is closing fast. Can head start hold on? Eli for BISP in lane number two. It is LJ one. Panthers two, BISP in third. The other LJ team finish fourth in lane number three. ISS come fifth. What a way to finish off and conclude this morning's session. And the final LJ team coming down on their last leg now. Let's hear it all for this last swimmer coming down their last straight. Bamrungrad International Hospital has been a global pioneer in providing world-class healthcare services and international patient support in the heart of Bangkok. With our strong foundation, we ensure that patients from each country are treated equally with care. Bamrungrad aims to be a destination that offers world-class holistic healthcare through the integration of medical treatment and holistic prevention medicine. We focus on being the medical center of sophisticated innovation and technology delivered by a transdisciplinary team through humanized care and our unique Bamrungrad way.
บำรุงราช International Hospital has been a global pioneer in providing world-class healthcare services and international patient support in the heart of Bangkok. With our strong foundation, we ensure that patients from each country are treated equally with care. b a m r u n g r a t aims to be a destination that offers world-class holistic healthcare through the integration of medical treatment and holistic prevention medicine. We focus on being the medical center of sophisticated innovation and technology, delivered by a transdisciplinary team through humanized care and our unique b a m r u n g r a t way, while meeting world-class quality and safety standards. I'm Arya Nehra. I'm from India, and I was a swimmer here at BISP, and I graduated in the class of 2021. Swimming here at BISP, some of my fondest memories, obviously, revolve around swimming and competing in a lot of places around Asia and especially Southeast Asia with our team here, and definitely some of our flying fish invitational meets and everything here as well. Outside of swimming, my favorite memory from my time at BISP would probably have to be our senior formal, which was our cast project. That me and some of my friends organized when I was in year 12. After I graduated from BISP, I went to the University of Florida, which is in Gainesville, Florida, in the U.S. Go Gators! Um, and I've finished my second year there, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm still a swimmer there. Swimming in college is definitely very different to what it was like here. A much more competitive environment, a much bigger team. And yeah, I think um, the caliber of athletes we have on our swim team itself is pretty um, crazy, to say the least. And um, definitely getting the chance to compete with them in some of um, you know the most competitive meets on the planet, really, and getting to travel to meets like World Championships and stuff with some of those athletes and a lot of um, swimmers on our team who are from really all around the world as well is is pretty cool. A piece of advice I would give to younger swimmer. Um, Younger swimmers, athletes, and, and students here at BISP would probably be to trust the pro, uh, the process and the program a bit more. Um, have faith in what your coaches have planned for you. Kind of believe that you know they they have your best interests at heart, and um, that the support staff, all of it around you, is also looking to see you succeed. So just kind of take their word on it and just go with what they tell you to do. My name is Maria r u t k o s k a t a I'm currently in year 13, and I study at British International School, Phuket. My time in boarding means a lot to me, as I do a lot of stuff there. It's like my second home, and usually at home, what you do is sleep, study, spend time with your friends, which are like family to me here. Um, we bake, we cook, we read books, we play games, we play video games. Uh, we sing, we dance together, so it's like literally like second home. My most favorite activity uh, in school is uh, going on boarding trips with friends, which are like so much fun. We go surfing, we go to elephant sanctuary, we go shopping. We just do like a lot of stuff here in Phuket. That's a really good uh, thing about boarding because uh, you spend. You spend a lot of time in boarding, which uh, the first language is English, so you ha you are like forced to speak English all the time, and it kind of like makes you like think in English uh, later, and then you just like become fluent in like a couple of months. Yeah. I swim at the high performance swimming team eight times a week, and we do d r i l i n g and gym sessions. And um, my time here has been amazing. As the, co the coach is like 100% motivated, he's experienced and he knows what he's doing. So it's like you have like uh, head coaches here who are like professional. So yeah. 
Everyone in boarding is motivated 100%, no matter if you're an athlete or academic scholar. scholar. And uh, you're just like, when you hang out with people, you just understand that you're not the only one who is like trying to achieve their goals. And it kind of like helps you because you motivate when people are like down, like feeling down or like uh, they're having a bad day, you just like hype them up and, and everything is like good for everyone. House parents are like uh, parents to us, like real parents. Like I live in a girls' boarding house, so we have uh, two uh, house parents which are like female, and they're like one of them is like like a mom, and the other is like more like a sister. And like we can go and talk to them about everything anytime. They're like always there for, like for us or to help us, and so it's like really nice. Academically, uh, teachers here at BISP helped me, first of all, with my English skills because I came to the school with like very little English. Um, and then over time, I became um, much better at English. And so the teachers helped me here to get better grades, which are like a really big thing for universities at U.S. So uh, with swimming, Coach Colin has helped me to get my times better, which, uh, which helped me to participate uh, at European Juniors twice, World Juniors Championship once, and European Youth Olympic Games. And also with that, um, I got into university at Fresno State, California, which uh, I'm going next year. So after school, uh, I'm going to go to University in the United States, which is Fresno State University of California, where um, I got a scholarship to swim in Division I University and compete uh, with the best universities in the United States uh, in NCAA competition. While I'll be swimming in United States and university, I'm also aiming to um, qualify for uh, European championships or world championships and also qualify for Paris 2024 Olympics. So there is a huge diversity in boarding as people are from around the world. Brazil, US, Australia, Asia, Europe, Africa, uh, which is amazing because you get to know about new cultures, new languages, and over time you become more than like bilingual because you can speak like their other like other people's languages, which is like really nice. Because so, like the next time you're gonna go like to Spain, you're gonna be able to speak Spanish because you had friends from there. So. So boarding house is like uh, literally like your own house. Uh, at the first floor we have a living room, we have a kitchen, we have a uh, reading area and we have uh, study rooms uh, which we spend the most of our times there. Uh, hanging out with our friends or cooking or reading or just having like uh, everyday meetings. Um, and we also have a pool table, we have a tennis table. So my most favorite subject at school is art since I'm interested in that since I was four years old and I've been doing this my whole life. And also the teacher here is amazing. She's introducing to us like a lot of new art, art artworks and uh, new artists who are coming to our like school on campus and they're like, we're working with them and they're like teaching us how to use uh, specific material or how to do some specific art. I would say that this school offers more than any other school could. Um, we have here best teachers, best coaches, best staff, which are motivating and they're going to help your child no matter what, anytime, 24-7. And um, your child is going to be become more independent and more responsible and it's going to teach him more like social life skills. And uh, then campus is like really safe, the food is really good. and. Here you will find everything what you need. There are a lot of things I'm gonna miss about this school, starting with uh, school, uh, swimming, boarding, people, food, staff, everything. Even the grass here, it's amazing. I'm gonna miss literally everything, even the palm trees. Like the weather is, is amazing and I'm, yeah.
Bamrungrad International Hospital has been a global pioneer in providing world-class healthcare services and international patient support in the heart of Bangkok. With our strong foundation, we ensure that patients from each country are treated equally with care. Bamrungrad aims to be a destination that offers world-class holistic healthcare through the integration of medical treatment and holistic prevention medicine. We focus on being the medical center of sophisticated innovation and technology, delivered by a transdisciplinary team through humanized care and our unique Bamrungrad way, while meeting world-class quality and safety standards. Hi, my name is Jessica Ann Mitcher. I'm in year 13. I'm Thai American. My mom is Thai, and my dad's American. I joined BISP in year 11, 2021. I'm pretty sure, I think, in IGCSE. I'm part of Cruzeiro um, Football Academy, and um, yeah, I've taken part in that ever since I came here. Um, my passion is definitely when it comes to pursuing what I want in the future. I want to be a wildlife veterinarian. Um, I've always loved animals when it came to growing up. I was always situated around them in my house. And um, when, it, when it came to like choosing what I want in college, definitely for applications and stuff like that, I chose to go with the animal route even though I am here for football. Um, I chose definitely to go over there and to support my passion in animals. I would say one of my key talents is definitely being confident in um, speech and being like in, in an area of people, I'm able to pursue what I like and to demonstrate my interests in front of people. And I think that's very important when it comes to um, the areas in which I want to pursue in college, being a veterinarian or like being anything in terms of um, situations with people, I think it's very good to have confidence in yourself and self-respect, especially with different opinions in communities and stuff like that. Being able to research and to um, talk about your own opinions is a very important in my opinion and that's one of mine. I would say even um, doing IB is an accomplishment for me. Um, IB is a very hard curriculum and I've realized throughout the years that um, just every everything that I'm doing is like a stepping stone towards who I'm going to be in the future. Um, IGCSE at that time was my greatest accomplishment, now it's IB and I really hope moving forward ending year 13 um, college will be my greatest success. Um, that would be my parents, definitely, because every single day um, they reach out to me. They hope that I'm okay, and ever since a child that I was able to gain all this confidence because of how they viewed me. They, they always pushed me in the areas where I was passionate about, and wherever I felt that I was lacking or the felt that I was um, not very confident or interested in certain subjects, they would always waver me, give me suggestions, give me other ways that I could motivate myself and um, show what I'm actual cap actually capable of. And when it came to IB, especially here, I found that um, in certain subjects that I used to be good at or um, used to be challenging for me um, with their support and with other people's support like tutoring, my house parents, my coaches, like all of them helped me to like become the person that I am today and that really secured me in my life and I really support them and I hope they support me throughout my life. Well, there are a lot of things that I would like to highlight but definitely the community here is big. Um, ever since I came here because I'm a boarder also, um, everybody felt very welcoming. I felt welcomed here. At, it felt like my second home. I was always very excited to come here after holidays, after little breaks here and there, because the people here are very assertive, but at the same time, they have their different opinions and they're able to show that themselves without being put down or let down. And um, every single time I came here, because I left most of the time for um, primary school and stuff like that. When I came into secondary and high school, 
I felt that everybody was just being really welcoming and I love that the community here is great. Boarding life um, has been great to me. I haven't had any problems with that. I feel like the Miss Magley, Miss Michelle, my boarding parents, Miss Sam, have been very accustomed to like what I want. Um, they've been very generous with how they, um, what they gave to me and what situations that I was in. In terms of being homesick, they were always there. They allowed me to call on call on their phones when I didn't have my phone. The, the food is great. They, they're always asking questions and how to improve. And I think that's great when it comes to being a community because you need to, it's hard to like satisfy everybody's interests, but at the end of the day, they are doing the best that they can. And that's all we could ask for. Like I said previously, I think I've accomplished a lot in terms of the stepping stones that I have um, done, um, IGCSC, IB, definitely my personality as a um, student, as a person grew a lot from coming here, having to depend not only on other people but on myself, um, having certain situations where I couldn't turn to my parents or couldn't turn to people that were relatives of me, close to me. Um, I felt that I built a lot of reassurance and self-confidence that when I am to go to college somewhere else, um, that I would be able to support myself, but also no other means to adapt to and to be able to like support me in my travels or my um, passions elsewhere. I'm part of the Cruzera Academy. I joined in year 11 where um, I wasn't the greatest player. I came from a school team where by means that Cruzero is nowhere near a school team. It is definitely an academy. They take care of your interests. They make sure that you are in lines, if you're an, uh, like a sports scholar, in lines with um, pursuing football in the future. They're always looking for what you want to do, where do you want to go in terms of going to Europe, to the US, to Australia. There are all sorts of things that they want to do for you. Um, they push you to your fullest like every single day from training. I am tuckered out. I am so tired that I just want to lie on my bed, but homework is key. Don't say it's not. But um, definitely Cruzero is always there for your interest. They make sure before every training to uh, ask questions, to see if everybody is involved in the technical aspects and also in the game. They make sure every, most people have um, game time. They they really engulf everyone's perspective and interests into one academy and they make sure that you grow as not only an individual with um, different interests but a footballer um, with ethics with like um, motivation with all sorts of things they they're also very much intertwined with their academics um, this is an academic and sports school so that is very big in this course um, I also believe that Cruzera really engulfs the idea of school and sports because no matter the occasion where you're feeling that you need help in your academics, Cruzera is never going to hinder you from that. They will always be appreciative of an email to the coach saying like, look, I need to go to tutoring or anything like that. Um, they're very, they're here to support you. So whatever you do, if you're here for football, if you're here for the academics, they're always here for you and no matter what. Right now, I hope that I am able to pass my IBs with flying colors, and I hope that that allows me to pursue my passions in um, my college, and I hope that wh whoever I choose and whatever I go to will truly help me in pursuing my passions in animals, but also I hope to um, still support sports and be a part of like a program, a club, I just hope for the future um, will be open arms and I'll have a lot of doors that are open to me when it comes to my passions and what I like. I would definitely say if your student is a um, is a sports person, is very big into extracurricular activities, or they might be getting older or like wanting to pursue colleges elsewhere that the family may not go to, I think boarding and um, being in this community is a great um, way to to develop those interests and those feelings because 
at the end of the day, training is very difficult. You want to walk five meters. It's very close to your boarding house to take a shower, a quick shower, and food is always available. You will never go hungry here. So I feel like boarding is a great way to grow as your own person because you won't always um, develop with your parents. I feel like you, especially me, I relied a lot on them. And when I came here, I had to find my own ways and paths to encourage myself and do well. So I hope that other families will see this as an area of growth for not only their kids, but when they grow up, they won't be lost in college and etc. Uh, first off, when I first came here, I would say my boarding house parents were the first ones to support me in my move because at first uh, I spent minimal amount of time away from my parents. I lived with my parents all my life and when I came here it was hard. I felt homesick. I was always surrounded by people that I knew for all my life. When I came here, it was a whole different um, environment and they helped me throughout every single day. They would check on me. They would make sure that I was feeling okay with my environment and that I felt safe and that I felt that I had other people to support me other than the parents that were like miles away. Um, furthermore, I feel like my teachers were a great support when it came to that. Um, like I said, in year 11, it was hard for me to adapt because I came in the second year where the exams were coming into play. And when that happened, I felt lost, um, sincerely felt like I was going to fail. But every single time that that came into my head, the teachers were always there to comfort me, to help me in my growth and to always be there no matter in tutoring or in mental support that they were always there and I can't um, imagine my life here without my friends, without my team, Cruzero, without anybody there because they made this place honestly feel like home and thanks. <laughs>
b a m r u n g r a t International Hospital has been a global pioneer in providing world-class healthcare services and international patient support in the heart of Bangkok. With our strong foundation, we ensure that patients from each country are treated equally with care. b a m r u n g r a t aims to be a destination that offers world-class holistic healthcare through the integration of medical treatment and holistic prevention medicine. We focus on being the medical center of sophisticated innovation and technology, delivered by a transdisciplinary team through humanized care and our unique b a m r u n g r a t way, while meeting world-class quality and safety standards. I'm Arya Nehra. I'm from India, and I was a swimmer here at BISP, and I graduated in the class of 2021. Swimming here at BISP, some of my fondest memories, obviously, revolve around swimming and competing in a lot of places around Asia and especially Southeast Asia with our team here, and definitely some of our flying fish invitational meets and everything here as well. Outside of swimming, my favorite memory from my time at BISP would probably have to be our senior formal, which was our CAS project. That me and some of my friends organized when I was in year 12. After I graduated from BISP, I went to the University of Florida, which is in Gainesville, Florida, in the U.S. Go Gators! Um, and I've finished my second year there, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm still a swimmer there. Swimming in college is definitely very different to what it was like here. A much more competitive environment, a much bigger team. And yeah, I think um, the caliber of athletes we have on our swim team itself is pretty um, crazy, to say the least. And um, definitely getting the chance to compete with them in some of um, you know the most competitive meets on the planet, really, and getting to travel to meets like World Championships and stuff with some of those athletes and a lot of um, swimmers on our team who are from really all around the world as well is is pretty cool. A piece of advice I would give to younger swimmer. Um, Younger swimmers, athletes, and, and students here at BISP would probably be to trust the pro, uh, the process and the program a bit more. Um, have faith in what your coaches have planned for you. Kind of believe that you know they they have your best interests at heart, and um, that the support staff, all of it around you, is also looking to see you succeed. So just kind of take their word on it and just go with what they tell you to do. My name is Maria r u t k o s k e t a I'm currently in year 13, and I study at British International School, Phuket. My time in boarding means a lot to me, as I do a lot of stuff there. It's like my second home, and usually at home, what you do is sleep, study, spend time with your friends, which are like family to me here. Um, we bake, we cook, we read books, we play games, we play video games. Uh, we sing, we dance together, so it's like literally like second home. My most favorite activity uh, in school is uh, going on boarding trips with friends, which are like so much fun. We go surfing, we go to elephant sanctuary, we go shopping. We just do like a lot of stuff here in Phuket. That's a really good uh, thing about boarding because uh, you spend. You spend a lot of time in boarding, which uh, the first language is English, so you ha- you are like forced to speak English all the time, and it kind of like makes you like think in English uh, later, and then you just like become fluent in like a couple of months. Yeah. I swim at the high performance swimming team eight times a week, and we do drilling and gym sessions. And um, my time here has been amazing. As the, co- the coach is like 100% motivated, he's experienced and he knows what he's doing. So it's like you have like uh, head coaches here who are like professional. So yeah. 
Everyone in boarding is motivated 100%, no matter if you're an athlete or academic scholar. scholar. And uh, you're just like, when you hang out with people, you just understand that you're not the only one who is like trying to achieve their goals. And it kind of like helps you because you motivate when people are like down, like feeling down or like uh, they're having a bad day. You just like hype them up and, and everything is like good for everyone. House parents are like uh, a parents to us, like real parents. Like I live in a girl's boarding house, so we have uh, two uh, house parents which are like female. And they're like, one of them is like, like a mom and the other is like more like a sister. And like we can go and talk to them about everything, anytime. They're like always there for, like, for us or to help us. And so it's like really nice. Academically, uh, teachers here at BISP helped me, first of all, with my English skills because I came to the school with like very little English. Um, and then over time, I became um, much better at English. And so the teachers helped me here to get better grades, which are like a really big thing for universities at US. So uh, with swimming, Coach Colin has helped me to get my times better, which, uh, which helped me to participate uh, at European Juniors twice, World Juniors Championship once, and European Youth Olympic Games. And also with that, um, I got into university at Fresno State, California, which uh, I'm going next year. So after school, uh, I'm going to go to University in the United States, which is Fresno State University of California, where um, I got a scholarship to swim in Division I University and compete uh, with the best universities in the United States uh, in NCAA competition. While be swimming in the United States and university, I'm also aiming to um, qualify for uh, European Championships or World Championships and also qualify for Paris 2024 Olympics. So there is a huge diversity in boarding as people are from around the world. Brazil, US, Australia, Asia, Europe, Africa. Uh, which is amazing because you get to know about new cultures, new languages and over time you become more than like bilingual because you can speak like their other like other people's languages which is like really nice because so, like the next time you're gonna go like to Spain you're gonna be able to speak Spanish because you had friends from there so. So boarding house is like uh, literally like your own house. Uh, at the first floor we have a living room, we have a kitchen, we have a uh, reading area and we have uh, study rooms uh, which we spend the most of our times there uh, hanging out with our friends or cooking or reading or just having like uh, everyday meetings. Um, and we also have a pool table, we have a tennis table. So my most favorite subject at school is art since I'm interested in that since I was four years old and I've been doing this my whole life. And also the teacher here is amazing. She's introducing to us like a lot of new art, art artworks and uh, new artists who are coming to our like school on campus and they're like we're working with them and they're like teaching us how to use uh, specific material or how to do some specific art. I would say that this school offers more than any other school could. Um, we have here best teachers, best coaches, best staff, which are motivating and they're gonna help your child no matter what, anytime, 24 seven. And um, your child is gonna be become more independent and more responsible and it's gonna teach him more like social life skills. And uh, then campus is like really safe. The food is really good. and. Here you will find everything what you need. There are a lot of things I'm going to miss about this school, starting with uh, school, uh, swimming, boarding, people, food, staff, everything, even the grass here, it's amazing. I'm going to miss literally everything, even the palm trees, like the weather is, is amazing and I'm, yeah.
Bamlungrad International Hospital has been a global pioneer in providing world-class healthcare services and international patient support in the heart of Bangkok. With our strong foundation, we ensure that patients from each country are treated equally with care. Bamrungrad aims to be a destination that offers world-class holistic healthcare through the integration of medical treatment and holistic prevention medicine. We focus on being the medical center of sophisticated innovation and technology, delivered by a transdisciplinary team through humanized care and our unique Bamrungrad way, while meeting world-class quality and safety standards. Hi, my name is Jessica Ann Mitcher. I'm in year 13. I'm Thai American. My mom is Thai, and my dad's American. I joined BISP in year 11, 2021. I'm pretty sure, I think, in IGCSE. I'm part of Cruzeiro um, Football Academy, and um, yeah, I've taken part in that ever since I came here. Um, my passion is definitely when it comes to pursuing what I want in the future. I want to be a wildlife veterinarian. Um, I've always loved animals when it came to growing up. I was always situated around them in my house. And um, when, it, when it came to like choosing what I want in college, definitely for applications and stuff like that, I chose to go with the animal route even though I am here for football. Um, I chose definitely to go over there and to support my passion in animals. I would say one of my key talents is definitely being confident in um, speech and being like in, in an area of people I'm able to pursue what I like and to demonstrate my interests in front of people and I think that's very important when it comes to um, the areas in which I want to pursue in college, being a veterinarian or like being anything in terms of um, situations with people, I think it's very good to have confidence in yourself and self-respect, especially with different opinions in communities and stuff like that. Being able to research and to um, talk about your own opinions is a very important in my opinion and that's one of mine. I would say even um, doing IB is an accomplishment for me. Um, IB is a very hard curriculum and I've realized throughout the years that um, just every everything that I'm doing is like a stepping stone towards who I'm going to be in the future. Um, IGCSE at that time was my greatest accomplishment, now it's IB and I really hope moving forward ending year 13 um, college will be my greatest success. Um, that would be my parents, definitely, because every single day um, they reach out to me. They hope that I'm okay, and ever since a child that I was able to gain all this confidence because of how they viewed me. They, they always pushed me in the areas where I was passionate about, and wherever I felt that I was lacking or the felt that I was um, not very confident or interested in certain subjects, they would always waver me, give me suggestions, give me other ways that I could motivate myself and um, show what I'm actual cap actually capable of. And when it came to IB, especially here, I found that um, in certain subjects that I used to be good at or um, used to be challenging for me um, with their support and with other people's support like tutoring, my house parents, my coaches, like all of them helped me to like become the person that I am today and that really secured me in my life and I really support them and I hope they support me throughout my life. Well, there are a lot of things that I would like to highlight but definitely the community here is big. Um, ever since I came here because I'm a boarder also, um, everybody felt very welcoming. I felt welcomed here. And it felt like my second home. I was always very excited to come here after holidays, after little breaks here and there, because the people here are very assertive, but at the same time, they have their different opinions and they're able to show that themselves without being put down or let down. And um, every single time I came here, because I left most of the time for um, primary school and stuff like that. When I came into secondary and high school, 
I felt that everybody was just being really welcoming and I love that the community here is great. Boarding life um, has been great to me. I haven't had any problems with that. I feel like the Miss Magley, Miss Michelle, my boarding parents, Miss Sam, have been very accustomed to like what I want. Um, they've been very generous with how they, um, what they gave to me and what situations that I was in. In terms of being homesick, they were always there. They allowed me to call on, call on their phones when I didn't have my phone. The, the food is great. They, they're always asking questions and how to improve. And I think that's great when it comes to being a community because you need to, it's hard to like satisfy everybody's interests, but at the end of the day, they are doing the best that they can. And that's all we could ask for. Like I said previously, I think I've accomplished a lot in terms of the stepping stones that I have um, done, um, IGCSC, IB, definitely my personality as a um, student, as a person grew a lot from coming here, having to depend not only on other people but on myself, um, having certain situations where I couldn't turn to my parents, I couldn't turn to people that were relatives of me, close to me. Um, I felt that I built a lot of reassurance and self-confidence that when I am to go to college somewhere else, um, that I would be able to support myself, but also no other means to adapt to and to be able to like support me in my travels or my um, passions elsewhere. I'm part of the Cruzera Academy. I joined in year 11 where um, I wasn't the greatest player. I came from a school team where by means that Cruzero is nowhere near a school team. It is definitely an academy. They take care of your interests. They make sure that you are in lines, if you're an, uh, like a sports scholar, in lines with um, pursuing football in the future. They're always looking for what you want to do, where do you want to go in terms of going to Europe, to the US, to Australia. There are all sorts of things that they want to do for you. Um, they push you to your fullest like every single day from training. I am tuckered out. I am so tired that I just want to lie on my bed, but homework is key. Don't say it's not. But um, definitely Cruzero is always there for your interest. They make sure before every training to uh, ask questions, to see if everybody is involved in the technical aspects and also in the game. They make sure every, most people have um, game time. They they really engulf everyone's perspective and interest into one academy and they make sure that you grow as not only an individual with um, different interests but a footballer um, with ethics with like um, motivation with all sorts of things they they're also very much intertwined with their academics um, this is an academic and sports school so that is very big in this course um, I also believe that Cruzera really engulfs the idea of school and sports because no matter the occasion where you're feeling that you need help in your academics, Cruzera is never going to hinder you from that. They will always be appreciative of an email to the coach saying like, look, I need to go to tutoring or anything like that. Um, they're very, they're here to support you. So whatever you do, if you're here for football, if you're here for the academics, they're always here for you and no matter what. Right now, I hope that I am able to pass my IBs with flying colors and I hope that that allows me to pursue my passions in um, my college and I hope that wh whoever I choose and whatever I go to will truly help me in pursuing my passions in animals but also I hope to um, still support sports and be a part of like a program, a club. I just hope for the future um, will be open arms and I'll have a lot of doors that are open to me when it comes to my passions and what I like. I would definitely say if your student is a um, is a sports person, is very big into extracurricular activities, or they might be getting older or like wanting to pursue colleges elsewhere that the family may not go to, I think boarding and um, being in this community is a great um, way to to develop those interests and those feelings because 
at the end of the day, training is very difficult. You want to walk five meters. It's very close to your boarding house to take a shower, a quick shower, and food is always available. You will never go hungry here. So I feel like boarding is a great way to grow as your own person because you won't always um, develop with your parents. I feel like you, especially me, I relied a lot on them. And when I came here, I had to find my own ways and paths to encourage myself and do well. So I hope that other families will see this as an area of growth for not only their kids, but when they grow up, they won't be lost in college and etc. Uh, first off, when I first came here, I would say my boarding house parents were the first ones to support me in my move because at first uh, I spent minimal amount of time away from my parents. I lived with my parents all my life and when I came here it was hard. I felt homesick. I was always surrounded by people that I knew for all my life. When I came here it was a whole different um, environment and they helped me throughout every single day. They would check on me, they would make sure that I was feeling okay with my environment and that I felt safe and that I felt that I had other people to support me other than the parents that were like miles away. Um, furthermore, I feel like my teachers were a great support when it came to that. Um, like I said, in year 11, it was hard for me to adapt because I came in the second year where the exams were coming into play. And when that happened, I felt lost, um, sincerely felt like I was going to fail, but every single time that that came into my head, the teachers were always there to comfort me, to help me in my growth, and to always be there, no matter in tutoring or in mental support, that they were always there. And I can't... Just a reminder, we are marshalling for the first event of our final session. Girls, boys, 200 meter IM. We are marshalling for that event. And as we go into our final session of the morning, a quick check on our team scores. In eighth place at the moment, it's our team from Kings Bangkok with 346 points. In seventh place at the moment, Hangzhou Jiang Swim Club with 456 points. Coming sixth currently, Trident Myanmar with 526. In fifth place, ISS Samui Sharks with 722. In fourth place at the moment, KIS Barracudas with 750. In third place, the Aquapanthers from Head Start with 1,021 points. Coming second place currently is our team from the LJ Swimming Club and our leaders with 2,421 points, it's BISP Sea Eagles. So once again, we need all of our swimmers in 200 IM up to the marshalling area.
just about to go now with our final session. Our first race is going to be our girls 200 IM. So here we are with the first race of our final session in the first event, event 49, 200 IM, three heats in lane three. It is Prua from the Africa Panthers, lane four is Bertina Segers from Samui Sharks, and in lane five it's Zanzan Hintit. I did welcome all of our teams back, but forgive me, uh, it's been a long weekend for all of us, I have made a mistake, I did forget to invite all of our Irish rugby fans back to the arena, of course, if you are an Ireland rugby fan, a very good morning to you guys, you had a bit of a, bit of a shocker, didn't you, bit of a shocker yesterday, I don't like to use the words annihilated, battered and smashed at Twickenham, but uh, other people have been using those words in our office this morning. So we are into our final session and these finals are going to be close. Just look at this in our first race of the day. Look how close it is between Bettina from the ISS Samui Sharks and, Fir and Zanzan Hintint. But it looks like Bettina with 10 meters to go is going to hold that lead or will she? Five meters to go now but it looks like the first winner of our first heat is Bettina Siges. From Samui Sharks. Good job, Bettina. That was a great race there. Really close that was. Unlike the England Island game last night in the Six Nations. Anything but close.
Into heat two now. Heat two of the four, the 200 IM. Lane two from BISP is Anna Oya. Lane three from Zhang Zhang Swim. It's Chloe Nick. Lane four from Aquapanthers, Nene Singaban. Lane five from the KIS, Barracudas, Tessa Van Ghent. In lane six, it's Tian Lee from St. Johnsbury Academy. And lane eight, Camilla Bovsky. Twenty-five meters to go. Once again, we are seeing another close finish. This time between Anna Oyard and Lane Chi from BISP and Tessa Van Gent from the KIS Barracudas with five meters to go. But Anna has pulled away. First place to Anna from BISP. Tessa, second place from KIS Barracudas, and third place is going to go to Chloe from Xinjiang. to our final heat of event 49. Lane one from BISP, Sierra Uder. Lane two from BISP, Lucy Shi. Lane three from Tanya Pura Phuket, Isabella Kwai Thuang. Lane four from Tanya Pura Phuket, Jomna Galahan. Lane five from BISP, Elsa Tunmo. Lane six, Zina Korniba from BISP. Lane seven, Yejin Lee from Tanya Pura Phuket. And lane eight, Hanan Hussein Hali. From BISP.
So halfway through this 200 IM. And Elsa Tunmo from BISP is out in the lead, but the battle is on for second place between Yejin Lee in lane seven and Zena Corneva in lane six. So when we go to the boys, 200 IM, six heats coming up in the first heat. In lane three, from Trident Myanmar, it's Hain Hoot Thor. Lane four, from Trident Myanmar, Sei Hoon Dun. And lane five, from Oak Meadow International School, Water Eagles, it is Matvey Krilov. Great to have lots of new teams here this year at our Invitational Meet. Big warm welcome to Oak Meadow International School, one of the newest international schools here. Competing at our event just south of us here at BISB, south of the island, down near Chelong. I was actually down there last weekend, had a lovely weekend down, down in Chelong here in Phuket. But uh, Oak Meadow International students do beware sure you know already but there is a there is a very large forest just near just near your school we've had a few reports that it is it has been quite dangerous in recent weeks so if you are uh, in Oak Meadow International School uh, just beware of that forest I was actually in the forest uh, last weekend uh, just didn't feel right did not did not feel safe at all in that forest there's uh, lots of trees around very dark it was a, it was a very shady forest so do beware
Yes, what a storming swim from Matvey Krilo from the Oak Meadow Water Eagles. Great swim, Matvey, in this first heat of boys 200 IM. Once again, a reminder, we will have our award presentation ceremony just over two hours. We are due to start that at 2 p.m. It won't take long, but it will be in the sports hall behind you guys at 2 p.m. this afternoon. We will also be awarding the Six Nations title to England rugby team. That will also be presented in the sports hall later on today after yesterday's hammering of Ireland. This is our second heat of our boys, 11 and over 200 IM. Lane one is Philip Titoff. Lane two, Justin Huang from the Aqua Panthers. Lane three, Charion Berman from BISB. Lane four, Paisak Andre from BCIS. Lane five, Rikshi Wee from LJ. Lane six, Yipan Wu from LJ Swim Team. Lane seven, Sergey Martinchenko from the Head Start Aqua Panthers. And in lane eight from Trident Myanmar, it's Wai Yang Peng. Ah, look at this, what a great swim from Wai Yang Peng. He has taken the lead, a very strong lead with 25 meters to go on this second heat of the 200 IM.
So we're on to Heat 3 now, event 50, Heat 3, lane 1 from SJA, it's Ryan Wu, lane 2 from SJA, Luke Lee, lane 3, Petr Zlukov from BISP. In lane 4, Paul Kim from SJA, lane 5, Liam Amir Anuma. Lane 6, Shriya Sangiam from KIS. Lane 7, Ben Yoon from SJ, SJA. And lane 8 from Frank's home swim team, it's Gerard Cho. Lots of swimmers here from St. Johnsbury Academy. Once again, great to have our friends from Korea here. Heard your school is an absolutely fantastic school, so it's great to see you represented here this afternoon. We did have a few complaints actually from uh, the other school in Korea. We did hear that your school, SJA, yeah, you apparently you have a larger, larger music department at your school, which is fantastic. You play loads of songs, and uh, apparently, yeah, but had had a few complaints. Your orchestra at the last performance was a little bit too smelly. Apparently, you had a very large wind section. So uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy that next time. <laughs> Thanks. But look at this, what a finish! <laughs> but look at this, what a great swim from Gerard Cho from Frank's home swim team in lane eight there, and he is going to be followed in lane five by Liam from Samui Sharks, finishing in second place. And in lane six, coming in third place from KIS Barracudas. Well done. Congratulations to Shira Sangyam. Two, heat four, lane one from the Water Eagles, Victor Melenchenko, lane two, Reese McKellar from the Aqua Panthers, lane three, Petr Jopintenko from Aqua Panthers, lane four, Sean Lee from SJA, in lane five, Pavel Koshenko from Aqua Panthers, lane six, June Bake from SJA, lane seven, Chris Lee, also from St. Johnsbury, and in lane eight from BCIS, Alan Pawlowski. Now we are marshalling our next race, 100 breaststroke. Please head to marshalling. 100 breaststroke up to marshalling.
so when you take a look at this, this is, I think, one of our closest races we've seen all weekend. But look at this, is lane five right? Is Pavel Koshenko going to take it? Oh, what a storming finish there from Pavel Koshenko from the Panthers. Looks like he took that. What a great race. What an excited Coach Polina. Big shout out to Coach Polina from BCIS. Yes, always here, bring a lot of enthusiasm and swagger. Sometimes cakes. She sometimes brings us cakes as well. But this year, no, unfortunately not. We've got two more heats now. Two more heats of this 200 IM. Actually, I was just reading the news during the lunch break. I don't know if you guys heard, but there has been an explosion at a cheese factory in the south of France. Uh, luckily, no one has been injured, so don't worry. But uh, if, if, you, uh, yeah, if you were watching the news, there was a large explosion in a cheese factory in the south of France this morning. But, uh, no one's hurt. There was debris everywhere, apparently. And <laughs> no one was hurt. We need to turn our focus back to the swimming because in lane one is Jerry from BISB. Lane two, Aiden Chen from LJ Swimming. In lane four, from Aquapanthas. <laughs> Ryan McKellar. Lane five, Riley Barber from BISB. In lane six, Mikhail Ladnev from BISB. Lane seven, Andre Meriov from BISB. And in lane eight, from the Aquapanthas, it's Locke Van Gogh. place but who is going to take that first place it is going to be between Ryan McKellar who is pulling away Riley Barber and Mikhail Lednev but with 10 meters to go it looks like the winner from Head Start Akabanthis is going to be Ryan McKellar followed by Mikhail Lednev and third place to Riley Barber
this is our final heat of event 50. 200 IM. Lane one from LJ, it's Ji Zheng Li. Lane two from Tanya Pura Phuket, Thanakrat Sibunlu. Lane three from Tanya Pura Phuket, Lev Pashkov. Lane four from BISB, Ekman Ekman. In lane five from the Aqua Panthers, Kirill Kokachev. Lane six from BISB, Jaidi Borman. Lane seven from UWC Mantares, Murong Lee. And in lane eight from Tanya Pura Phuket, it's Timo Konev Konev. Storming swim here from Ekman Ekman from BISP coming in first place. In second place, the battle is on. Looks like from Tanya Pora Phuket. Second place is going to go to Timor Konev Konev. And coming in third place from BISP, it is going to be Jaidi Bowman. It is Emily Fang. Lane two from Manta Race, Bea van der Klink. Lane three from KIS Barracudas, Tang Yong Orothakungo. Lane four from BISB, Sierra Ueda. Lane five from BISB, Anastasia Moreva. Lane six from the Manta Race, Rini Lulidi. Lane seven from BISB, Adele Sapaskinova. And lane eight from Samui Stingrays, it's Eva Ashtakova. Boys in the 100 breaststroke final, please head to marshalling. Boys, 100 breaststroke final to marshalling. But in the water right now, this is the final of the girls, 11 to 12, 100 breaststroke. And it is between at the moment, Sierra and Anastasia. Oh, what a finish. This is going to be Sierra Uda and Anastasia Mariova, who is going to get there first with five meters to go. Oh, storming swim, Sierra Uda has taken the lead and she is going to finish first to Sierra, second Anastasia Mariova, and third place goes to Tanyong from KIS Barracudas.
this is the final of the girls 13 to 14 100 breaststroke in lane one from Alka Panthers, Alina Saitova. Lane two from BISP, Maya Alkin. Lane three from KIS Barracudas, Tass Tessa Van Ghent. Lane four from Kings Bangkok, Risa Thanavanic. Lane five from Alka Panthers, Masha Rodkina. Lane six from Trident Mima, Foda Thakinun. Lane seven from Kings Bangkok, it's Poon Chanakaskili. And in lane eight from Alka Panthers, Alicia Stavelets. What a fantastic swim here from Risa. She is representing Kings Bangkok. She is going to be the winner of this final. But look at this for second and third place in lane five. Masha Rakina is going to come in second place for the Aqua Panthers. And following very closely in third place from Trident Myanmar. Third place goes to Fothet Takinan. Oh, what a fantastic swim there, girls. So close. Especially that battle for third place. The girls 15 and over, 100 breaststroke in lane. Three from BISP, it's Ember Hewison. Lane four from BISP, Joanna Lama. Lane five from BISP, Kiara Egger. And in lane six, it is going to be Ian Sheriff Sheree. We are now calling our swimmers in events. 50 meter backstroke, 10 and unders, 50 backstroke final. It is your time to head to marshalling. But at the moment, we are on the girls 15 and over final with 25 meters to go. Joanna Lama looks set to win, but look at this for second place. It is going to be so close between Ember, Kiara, and Ian Sharif. Sharif, who is going to get that second place? So, so well done to Joanna, who's going to be heading off to the Paris Olympics this summer, representing Nepal. Good luck there, Joanna, in lane four. Second place is going to go to Kiara Egger in lane five. And third place goes to N, followed very closely just in lane three. Fourth place goes to Ember Hewison. Time now for the boys, 11 to 12, 100 breast final. Lane one from Samui Sharks, Justin Campon. Lane two from KIS Barracuda, Shiri Sangyam. Lane three from BISB, Julian Klohofer. Lane four from LJ Swimming, Aiden Chen. Lane five from BHA, it's Gerard Cho. Lane six from Trident Myanmar, Zhu Henfo. Lane seven from BCIS, Philip Titoff. And lane eight from Aqua Panthers, Pavel Krishtenko.
So in the boys' final here. Storming swim in lane four from Aiden Chen, representing LJ Swimming from China. Second place is going to go to Gerard Cho. Congratulations, Gerard Cho. And there we go. Third place. Third place to Julian Klohofer. This is the final of the boys, 13 to 14, 100 breaststroke in lane one from Kings Bangkok. It's Chang Phlai Liriskip. Lane two from LJ Swimming, it's Eric Zhang. Lane three from Tanya Pura Phuket, Timo Konev Konev. Lane four from BISPC Eagles, Ekman Ekman. Lane five from BISPC Eagles, Jaidi Buman. Lane six from Aqua Panthers, head start. Vlad Rudy, lane seven from BISP, Kolev Pavlaski, and in lane eight from Samui Sharks, it's Namor Reynolds. Ekman Ekman is going to be the winner of this. 13 to 14, 100 breaststroke. He's going to be followed in second place by J.D. Bowman. And third place is going to go to Timo Konev Konev from Tanya Bora Phuket. Time for the final of 15 and over, boys. 100 breaststroke in lane three. From Aqua Panthers, Charlie Sue, lane four. From Aqua Panthers, Ryan Cox, lane five. From Tanya Pora Phuket, Tyler Lung, lane six. From Aqua Panthers, Alex Wang. And lane seven from Aqua Panthers, Leo Lee. We have got four Aqua Panthers in this race. Head start, Aqua Panthers, make some noise. Thanks, guys. Keep it up. We do have one, around one hour and 15 minutes left of this session. meters to go here now and Ryan Cox from Acrobanthus is taking a lead but the battle for second place is going to be oh so tight will it be Tyler Lung or Alex Quang so first place to Ryan Cox second place goes to Tyler Lung from Tanya Bora Phuket Time to turn your attention left. We are heading down to our left side, our east side of our BISP campus. Hanging out on the east side here on your Sunday morning. 
And it's our girls eight and under. 50 backstroke final. Bamrungrad International Hospital has been a global pioneer in providing world-class healthcare services and international patient support in the heart of Bangkok. With our strong foundation, we ensure that patients from each country are treated equally with care. Bamrungrad aims to be a destination that offers world-class holistic healthcare through the integration of medical treatment and holistic prevention medicine. We focus on being the medical center of sophisticated innovation and technology, delivered by a transdisciplinary team through humanized care and our unique Bamrungrat way, while meeting world-class quality and safety standards. So this is the final of girls eight and under 50 backstroke in lane one. Elsa Li Zheng. Lane two, Sui Mo Kaka. Lane three, Mimi Chen. In lane four, Dao Chai Sanakawakabo. Lane five, Kate Lu. Lane six, Anna Bissiarin. Lane seven, Susie Lee. And in lane eight, it is Anna Maestra. There is lots of cheering, there's lots of shouting, there's also a budgie. I hear a live budgie on poolside. High-pitched, screaming budgie as we come into the winner. It was, it is Dochai in lane four. Second place goes to Kate Lu and third place, oh. So close there, what a race, girls. Fantastic, what a race. Girls 50 backstroke final lane one from BISB Maria Mariova lane two Kian Kian Ma lane three Yasman Halamandras lane four Yura Lee lane five Teresa Yi lane six Helen Yu lane seven Chi Wen Chai and in lane eight in Fan. The very strong swim here from LJ Swimming Club it is Yura Lee. Second place is going to go to Teresa Yi. And third place. Looks like it went to Yasmin Halamandras from the Aqua Panthers. Boys, eight and under, 50 backstroke final, lane one, Felix Fu from LJ. Lane two from BISP, Roman Ikovic. Lane three from Jiang, Thomas Zhu. Lane four, Vincent Yi. Lane five, Peter Zhang. Lane six, Jake Lee. 
Lane seven, Jaunai Sunmark, and lane eight, Brian Seegers. So the winner is Peter Zhang, second place, Vincent Yi, and third place, Thomas Zhu. This is the 9 to 10 year old boys, 50 backstroke final. And Napa Tipagi from KIS Barracudas is out in the lead at the moment. Looks like he's gonna come first. Who is gonna come second? It was Tom Kuhn from ISS. Second place to Tom Kuhn. Right now, this is the final of the girls, 11 to 12, 50 backstroke, lane one, Anna Zhao, lane two, Viviana Kim, lane three, Isabella Kwai Thang, lane four, Tanyong Orathakinokarao, lane five, Anna Oyard, lane six, Yaya Ranganarut, lane seven, Bettina Segers, and in lane eight, Ai Thiri Thin. But Isabella is out in the lead in lane three, Oh, but what a finish this is going to be. First to Isabella, second to Tang Yong, and it looks like third place was Anna Oyard there. Girls 13 to 14 final, lane one is Risa, 
Lane two, Fothead Takinan. Lane three, Zina Corniva. Lane four, Valeria Akivleva. Lane five, Josephine Lemon. Lane six, Bada O. Lane seven, Proud. Lane eight, Tessa. That first place is going to go to Valeria. Second place to Josephine. And third place to Zina Corniva. Lane three, Jane Tinnerhathorn. Lane four, Samaya Fulton. Lane five, John Gallahan. In lane six, Ice Horsburgh. Lane seven, Fura Pratchapon. And lane eight, Diane Park. Austin from net, lane seven, Kirill Beshanov, and lane eight, Clayton Surflet. time of the boys 13 to 14 final in lane one from BISB Ethan Harding lane two Chang Fly Liriskith lane three Tasu Taniakorn lane four Nemo Reynolds lane five Lock Van Gogh lane six Sasha Radu lane seven KK and lane a Boo Boo So first place there was Namo Reynolds from Samui Sharks. Boys 50 backstroke final. Lane one, Alexi Klopov. Lane two, Alan Pawlowski. Lane three, Chai Chan Buman. Lane four, Zach Duncanson. Lane five, Savali Rabalko. Lane six, Jay Gates. Lane seven, Petr Drobenko. Lane eight, Charlie Sue. And what a 
another fantastic great finish. First place to Zach Duncanson from BISB. So we are coming towards the end of this uh, third and final day here at BISP. So good to have all of you here. 15 different teams we welcome, four different countries, and 500 swimmers. Bumrungrad International Hospital Bumrungrad International Hospital has been a global pioneer in providing world-class healthcare services and international patient support in the heart of Bangkok. With our strong foundation, we ensure that patients from each country are treated equally with care. Bumrungrad aims to be a destination that offers world-class holistic healthcare through the integration of medical treatment and holistic prevention medicine. We focus on being the medical center of sophisticated innovation and technology, delivered by a transdisciplinary team through humanized care and our unique Bumrungrat way, while meeting world-class quality and safety standards.
Girls 8 and under, 53 final. Lane 1, Natha Sribunlu. Lane 2, Elsa Zhang. Lane 3, JC Huang. Lane 4, Kate Lu. Lane 5, Do Chai. Lane 6, Mimi Chen. Lane 7, Anna Maestra. And in lane 8, it's Shui Mo Kaka. So it looks like, oh, what a finish here in lane four and five. But a storming swim. The winner was Dao Chai in lane five. Second place was Kate Lu, a teammate from LJ. Girls 9 to 10, 53 final, lane 1, Naomi Sorensen, lane 2, Helen Yu, lane 3, Yasmin Halamandras, lane 4, Yuo Lee, lane 5, Teresa Yi, lane 6, Ji Wen Chai, lane 7, Maria Mariova, lane 8, Ali Hudson. But what a great swim from Yuo Lee coming in first place. Second place goes to Teresa Lee. And third place, Yasmin Halamandres from the Africa Panthers. Yeah, great race there. We've got more races coming up. We have got about 30 minutes left here at our swim meet. Great to have all of our swimmers out there this morning. It's been a long day. Sometimes I get to work and I forget what time I arrived. In fact, this morning I was driving to work and it was quite dark actually, but I did in the distance. I saw a lady hanging off a goalpost. She, uh, she's okay. Don't worry, guys. She's okay. It was just in uh, near Phuket. Uh, Elephant Park, there was a lady hanging slumped right over uh, the football goalpost. Uh, I believe yeah. she's okay. Where did you come? Um, uh, China. Yeah, I went out and spoke to her. Said she was fine. Well done, congratulations. And you've had fun this weekend? Yes, of course. Like, yeah. lots. Done, lots of, done lots of races? Uh, yes, like a lot. Yeah. And how many wins? Oh, well done. Uh, thank you. Have a great weekend and travel safely home. You too. <laughs> yeah, that was good in between when they yeah. finish and when they start. Oh, I just get the winners. Boys, eight and under, 53 final. Lane one, Felix Fu. Lane two, Miller Kian. Lane three, Jake Lee. Lane four, Vince Yi. Lane five, Peter Zhang. Lane six, Roman Isovich. Lane seven, Heed Nadezao. Lane eight, Jono Subrat. But look at this, what a race. Will Jake Lee get there or will it be in lane four? I think it was lane four, Vincent Yi. What a race that was between Jake, Vincent and Peter. I believe the winner was Vincent Yi in lane four. But what a race that was, boys. Tremendous effort. Boys 9 to 10 final, lane 1 Papi, lane 2 Fima, lane 3 Napa Tipaki, lane 4 Jinjin Lee, 
Lane five, Nathan C. Lane six, Ryan Cho. Lane seven, Caden Yip. And lane eight, Patrick Q. Oh, what a fantastic race, boys. Brilliant stuff. You can clear the water. Do apologise if there was a bit of a technical issue in that last uh, in that last uh, musical musical performance. We did have to just reset the uh, the Wi-Fi password here. Uh, I had to type in uh, eight characters, so I had to choose Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Girls, 11 to 12, 50 freestyle final. Lane one, Rini Luli. Lane two, Aiti Twin. Lane three, Camilla Posgai. Lane four, Isabella. Lane five, Anna Oya. Lane six, Yaya. Lane seven, Anna. Lane eight, Anastasia. What a race this is going to be. First place is going to be taken by Isabella in lane four. Second place goes to... Hi, well done on winning your 50 freestyle. Was it fun? Yes. Yeah. And and how many races have you done this weekend? Uh, four. And what strokes do you like doing? Uh, freestyle and butterfly. And what school do you come from? Uh, Hangzhou Basis. Where's this one? Uh, in Hangzhou. In Hong, in, in China? Yes. Oh, and have you had a fun weekend? Yes. Congratulations on your race. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Thirteen to fourteen-year-old fifty-three final. Lane one, Bada O. Lane two, Maya Alkin. Lane three, both Ed Thakinan. Lane four, Josephine Lemon. Lane five, Zina Corneva. Lane six, Masha Rodkina. Lane seven, Risa. And lane eight, Pun Chakawasakadu. So out in the lead, Josephine in lane four for BISB is going to be the winner. Second place is going to go to Zina Corneva, and third place. From Trident, Myanmar, third place goes to Fo Ted Bakinan. This is the girls 15 and over freestyle final out in the lead. Looks like she's going to win it. It's Samaya Fulton. But who is going to get second place in this race? Oh, what a race that was. Hi Josephine, congratulations on your 50 freestyle, that was awesome, how did it feel? <laughs> Not very good. No? Has it, has it been a long weekend? I was expecting a lot faster. Well that's okay, you still won. I mean you've had a long program, it's been very hot. How many races have you done? Now this was my, with the finals and prelims, it was my 8th, no, it was my 11th race. Oh, that's a lot of racing. And what's your favourite event? My favourite is this one, 53. Oh, it's, but it's it's hard, it's tough to wait till the end of the program to swim it, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I hate it. It's every single race, every meet. You get it at the end. And yeah. And, and what other races have you done? Um, 100 back, 50 back, 100 fly, 100 free. 53 and 50 fly. Oh, that's a huge program. And you're from the BIS school here in Phuket. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much.
on, on a great weekend and, and keep swimming. <laughs> bye bye. And third place, Aiden Chen from LJ Swim Team. We've got around 30 minutes to go. 30 minutes. Boys 13 14 final. Lane one, Mikhail Ladnev. Lane two, Yunho Yang. Lane three, Jaidi Bowman. Lane four, Eric Zhang. Lane five, Gleb Pawlowski. Lane six, Namor Reynolds. Lane seven, Ryan O'Hara. And in lane eight, Andre Mariov. But look at this. Who is, who on earth is going to get this? Watch that scoreboard. Who touches first? Dear me, what a race. I believe it was Eric Zhang in lane four. We checked that scoreboard to make sure it's verified. I think Eric Zhang there was the winner. This is going to be our fastest race of the weekend. It's our boys 15 and over 50 freestyle. What a race. This is going to be 25 meters to go. Watch that scoreboard. Who is going to get there first? Lev Pashkov is in the lead at the moment. Or will Zach Duncanson get there? It looks like it's going to be Lev Pashkov. Yes, I think second place, Zach Duncanson. What a race, boys. What a race. That was statistically our fastest race of the weekend. All right, boys. Great stuff. Once you're ready, once you've got your breath back, you can clear the water. Before we begin our next event, our next final is going to be our girls 11 to 12, 100 butterfly. And while we are switching races, it's a good time to say thank you very much to all of you guys for coming here this weekend. It has been absolutely fantastic. We appreciate the effort you guys have put in to come here. I'd like to also say a special thank you to our Z coaching. Hello, my name is Lev Dashkov. Sorry, what is it? My name is Lev. Lev. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, Lev. That was an awesome swim. Would that be a PB for you? Thank you very much. Yes, in one course. Oh, my Wow, that's awesome to do that at the end of a long weekend. How did you feel in the race? I feel amazing. Thank you very much. I'm very thankful for this opportunity to swim at a school like this. This might be my last swim. Oh, which school do you go to? I go back home to my home country in Russia. I'm going to swim on a national level there. And I'm very thankful for the opportunity to swim outside of my country in such a prestigious school. And you, so you're a pupil at the BISP school, are you? I used to be. Okay. Not anymore. Just finished, yeah. I have, yeah. Oh, well, that's awesome. So you're going, you're heading home, and, you've, and you're going to college, and you've got a, you're going to be a swimmer, are you? That's right. I hope to become a professional. And, it, and is the 53 your distance? Is that what you like doing? It's actually not. My distance is a hundred fly, which is coming up in five minutes. So I got to go and get ready. Oh, all right. Awesome. Well done. Congratulations. Weekend swim meet in around 30 minutes. And then, as quick as possible, we'll go to the sports hall behind you guys for our awards ceremony. That is due to begin at 2 p.m. And we don't imagine that will take too long.
All right, our next uh, final is our 11 to 12 girls, 100 butterfly. In lane two, Rini Lulini from UWC Manta Rays. Lane three, it is Wendy Pan from BISP Sea Eagles. Lane four is Anna Zell from LJ Swimming. Lane five, Sierra Uda from BISP Sea Eagles. And in lane six, I Thirin Lin from Trident Myanmar. So here is Anna Zhao for LJ Swimming. She's going to win this 100 fly final. As she comes into touch. And she is followed in lane five by Sierra Uda. She's going to be finishing in second place. And what a great swim here in lane three from Wendy Pan here for BISP. I remember Wendy when she was in year one, not able to even put her face in the water. And now what a great swim, finishing third place in that race. Wendy Pan there. Well done, all girls in that 100 fly. Next up, it is our girls 13 to 14 final, but this is a unique race. As you can see, we have got one finalist and one finalist only. So make some noise for our only finalist in the girls. 13, 14, 100 fly. It's Josephine Lemon. Just 15 meters to go in this 13 to 14 final. Who is going to be the winner of this 100 fly? We come towards the end of the race. Big congratulations from BISP to Jojo Levan there. Next up. It's been a fabulous weekend, three-day event. I mean, how long have you been putting this on? It, it's just a, a, a great um, event for the school, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it is. It's wonderful. It's great to see so many people here. We've been doing this for about 15 years, um, and we get more and more people every year and from more diverse countries and locations. So uh, everybody everybody enjoys coming to Phuket. Uh, I mean, that, that, maybe that's what it is, but I'm, I'm surprised that so many people have travelled so far, yeah, and the yeah. standard of the swimming is incredible. Yeah, it is great, yeah. Uh, 
think it's a good opportunity for students to showcase their swimming talents, uh, to see what else is out there in the region yeah. as well. So yeah. good opportunity. No, absolutely. Yeah. And um, and how many how many students do you have at the the British School so here? So we've got 1,140 students at the moment. So and about 130 of those are boarders. Okay. So yeah. So and a cultural mix, I imagine, from very, everywhere. Very very international. So we've got about 63 different nationalities. Wow. Uh, so very international. About 18 percent Thai. Um, so our biggest nationality is around 20 percent. And just right. tell me, how important do you see sport as an integral part of their education? Yeah, good question. So sport here is a part of our mission. Our mission, um, two parts of it, is to ignite passion and nurture well-being, and it's an incredible part of those two parts of our of our actual mission. The students here are really focused on their sport. They're a very healthy population. They're supported by their parents, yeah. um, and they really do, you know, that's their passion for a lot of them. And Simon, I, I think you do a very diverse range of sports. We I do. was seeing yeah. some aerial... That's right. Um, yeah. with, the, with the ribbons over yes, there. Tell yeah. me some so, of the really different sure. sports that so, you do here. So we've got aerial and uh, silks over there. There's about 200 students that I'm do that. I'm very impressed you know the name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've got about 400 swimmers, just under 400 footballers, wow. about 200 tennis students and about uh, 100 golf students. So a diverse one. And all of those are taken by professional coaches. So they're not teachers at the school. They're professional coaches and some of them are ex-professional in their field as and well. And talking to one of your colleagues yesterday, I understand that they, a lot of them are given an opportunity to go and study in other countries at colleges. You, you, you know, you have relationships with colleges in like Australia and, and right. America. That's yeah, right. Yep. So a lot of students now are going off to university. Um, last year we had 30% of the students were getting scholarships that were graduating. Incredible. Uh, which is great. Uh, we're getting on average about three to five students are signing up with professional teams yep. in football um, and a lot of students are going on to continue their passions in university and to do their sports. That's incredible. Yeah, that's right. And do you give opportunity to, to less um, financially able people to come and study at the British school? Yes, we do. We have a lot of scholarship students at the school here. They stay in boarding generally um, and they're on very healthy scholarships which enables them to, to ignite their passion uh, to finish and a lot of those will move to university or on to clubs yep. um, and they often will get good, good quality uh, scholarships at those places as well. That's great. Yeah. And I've noticed one of your uh, sponsors for this event is the Boomingrad um, Hospital, which is going to be building a new facility That's here right. in Phuket. Yes. How yep. long have you been partnering with them? Yeah, so uh, Boomingrad uh, has shown up a, a couple of years ago. They've been sponsoring some of our sports events. They were down here watching the football, um, and we're very keen, and they're very keen to work together um, as they continue to develop the hospital there. Yep. Um, I know that the CEO in particular is a very keen sportsman um, and so he wants to be involved not just in sports but with the school obviously yeah, because we've got, an, well. yeah, yeah. we've got an international population yes. and that's what the hospital is about. Absolutely. It's international care yeah. um, and I suppose yeah. uh, looking after everyone's well-being so yeah. uh, we're on to that. Well, so that yeah. we don't cook you out here. Thank <laughs> okay. you very much indeed for talking to us okay, and, my uh, pleasure. And, and thanks for such a great weekend. Oh, my pleasure. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye. Okay, thanks. wasn't too bad, was it? Okay. <laughs> Our penultimate individual race of the day, 13 to 14 year old, 100 fly final in lane one from Aqua Panthers, Vlad Woody, lane two from Samui Sharks, it's Jin Ho Yang, lane three, Jaidi Bauman from BISB, lane four from Tanya Pora Phuket, Timor Konev Konev. Lane 5 from BISP, Riley Barber. Lane 6, Mikhail Ladner from BISP. Lane 7, Andre Marriott from BISP. And in lane 8, from Head Start Aqua Panthers, it's Jeremy Zhu. Once again, another close race as we approach 25 metres to go. But Timo Konev, Konev has taken a three, now four-meter lead. And Timo Konev, Konev is going to come in first place.
Second place is going to be Riley Barber from BISB. And third place goes to Jody Bowman from BISB. So guys, make some noise. This is our last individual final of the weekend. It's our boys 15 and over, 100 butterfly. So in lane one, we've got Tristan Leung. Lane two, Savali Rebelko. Lane three, Thanaquid Sribonlu. Lane four, Lev Bashkov. Lane five, Chuan Lu. Lane six, Kirill Kukachev. Lane seven, Ryan McKellar. And in lane eight, it is Petr Jopinchenko. of the day Lev Pashkov is out in the lead he is being followed by Tran Lu so it is first place to Lev Pashkov second place to Tran Lu and who's going to get third place it was Kirill Kukachev from Head Start Aqua Panthers Boys, fantastic stuff. That concludes our individual races. Let's hear it for all of our swimmers as we now prepare for our relay. So, all swimmers in the 4x50 freestyle relay, please head up to marshalling. That is our final event of the day. We've just gone past one o'clock here on your Phuket Sunday afternoon. We will be commencing our relays very shortly. Invitational.
So into the final girls event of the weekend, we've got three heats of this hour. Four by 50, freestyle relay. And in lane three, it's our team from St. Johnsbury Academy. Are they still here? Make some noise, St. Johnsbury. Ooh, maybe they're not here. In lane four, make some noise, KIS Barracudas. <clears throat> also not here. And in lane five, it is our team. Make some noise, Trident Myanmar. Yeah, you guys are still here. So KIS Barracudas have taken the lead in this heat one, but they are being chased by Trident Mima. Oh dear, look at this. Will Trident catch the team from KIS? I'm going to say I think maybe they will. Oh, what a final 50 meters. Oh, what a final swim from Trident. Yes, they were overtaken. Unbelievable scenes in the crowd. The winners of our first heat. It's going to be our team from Trident Myanmar. What a swim. Well done, KIS Barracudas. You put up a great fight there. You came second in that heat. And let's hear it for our team from South Korea, from St. Johnsbury Academy. They are coming in in third place. This is heat two in our girls' 4x50 freestyle relay. In lane one, we've got our team from Branksham, All Asia. Lane two, it is our Samui Sharks. In lane three, our Head Start Aqua Panthers. In lane four, it's our team from BISB. Lane five, we've got another team from Branksham, Branksham All Asia. In lane six, our UWC Manta Rays. And in lane seven, more BISB Sea Eagles. But Halfway through the race, who's going to come up first? Oh, and look at this, the Samui Sharks have taken the lead.
So we are into the final 50. Can Samui Sharks hold their lead? Or will the BISBC Eagles catch them or bring them all Asia? Oh, look at this. Samui Sharks, they are holding their lead with 15 meters to go. The battle's on for second place now between Branksome All Asia and BISPC Eagles. What a race! But congratulations to the Samui Sharks. Second place, Branksome All Asia. Third place, BISPC Eagles. Oh, girls, what a race that was. Absolutely smashed it. Fantastic stuff. Fourth place to BISPC Eagles. Fifth place is going to go to our Aqua Panthers from Head Start. And the other team from France and Malaysia, let's hear it as they come in. Lane one, finishing this heat number two. We've got our final girls event of the day. They first came here exactly 48 hours ago. And here we are Sunday 1.15 ready for our final girls event of the weekend. It's our 4 by 50 freestyle relay. Heat 3 of 3. So here we go, our final girls race of the weekend. It's heat three in our four by 50 freestyle relay. In lane one, we've got UWC Manta Rays. Lane two, BISBC Eagles. Lane four, BISBC Eagles. In lane five, more BISBC Eagles. Lane six, KIS Barracudas. And in lane eight, our Head Start Aquapanthers. So our BISPC Eagles are out in the lead in lane four at the halfway mark. Followed by more Eagles in second place. Diving in now in third place currently. It is our KIS Barracudas. So as we come to the end of our girl, our last girls race of the weekend, BISB Seagulls are going to come in first place in lane four, 
second place in lane five, and the battle is on for third place. Who's going to get that third place? Will it be the Aqua Panthers or will it be BISBC Eagles? It is going to be the Head Start Aqua Panthers. girls what a way to finish fantastic stuff that is it all of our girls have completed their swims here on day three girls have a well-deserved rest we will see you at 2 p.m in our award ceremony we just got three more races to go now it's time for the boys. Three heats of our 4x50 three star relay. And it's heat one of three in lane one. We've got our team from St. Johnsbury Academy. Lane two, we've got more St. Johnsbury Academy swimmers. In lane three, our KIS Barracudas. Lane four, our Oak Meadow Water Eagles. In lane five, Trident Myanmar. In lane six, we've got St. Johnsbury Academy from South Korea. Lane seven, our team from BISP, Sea Eagles. So as we approach the halfway mark, our BISP, Sea Eagles in lane seven are out in the lead, but St. Johnsbury Academy are very close behind them now in second place. Oak Meadow Water Eagles are chasing down in third place. As two are trying to Myanmar battling for third place, but will BISB Sea Eagles hold that first place position in lane seven? So here we go, 50 meters left. BISB diving in the water. They are followed by St. John's Re. Will BISP hold that lead? And the battle is also on for second place. It looks like BISP might maintain their lead. But the question is, will St. John's Re hold on to second place? Or will Trident catch them? I think it is going to be first place to BISP. And second place is going to go to our team from St. Johnsbury Academy. Third place with a great swim it is Trident Myanmar. Coming in fourth place is going to be our Oak Meadow Water Eagles. Coming in fifth and sixth place. Some great swims there by St. Johnsbury Academy.
penultimate race of the weekend is this 4x50 freestyle relay in lane one. It is our team from Branksham, All Asia. Lane two, BISB Sea Eagles. Lane three, BISB Sea Eagles. Lane four, Head Start Aqua Panthers. In lane six, more Head Start Aqua Panthers. And in lane seven, it is our team from ISS. It's the Samui Sharks. To the halfway mark now. The Head Start Acapanthers are out in the lead, but only just by a fingernail. So let's see. A lot of change sometimes happens on the third leg, but our Acapanthers are holding the lead at the moment. BISBC Eagles chasing them down as two. Ah, oh, the team, the other Acapanthers team in lane six. So will the Acapanthers hold their lead with 50 to go or will BISP in lane three take over? Let's have a look as we head into the 25 meter finish. Headside Acapanthers, they are maintaining their lead but only just as BISP come, will they come with 10 meters to go? Look at this, will it be head start or BISP? What a finish, I think, oh. What a finish that was! Unbelievable! Unbelievable, boys! What a finish! BISB in the head start. What a race there! What a finish! I think one of the closest relays we have seen at this weekend's meet. What a way! to finish that race but we do have one more relay this is our final race of the weekend we've had 500 swimmers four countries 15 different teams it comes down to this our final race our four by 50 boys freestyle relay So as we approach 1.30, this is our final race of the weekend. In lane one, it's our team from KIS Barracudas. Lane two, it's our team from Head Start Aquapanthers. Lane three, LJ Swimming Team from China. Lane four, it's BISP Sea Eagles. Lane five, more BISP Sea Eagles. Lane six, Head Start Aquapanthers. Lane seven, we've got BISP and lane eight, from Samui, we've got our ISS Samui Sharks. Into the final 100 meters we go of the weekend, and BISB have got a healthy seven meter lead. And it is close in second place between BISB and Head Start Aquapanthers. So here we go now into the 50 meter finish. BISB have got her. Strong lead. They are going to finish in first place in this final heat. In second place, we've also got BISB. So it's first place to BISB. Second place to the Sea Eagles. Third place is going to go to our Head Start Acrobanthers. Fourth place to Head Start Acrobanthers as well. Fifth place is going to go 
to LJ Swimming from China. Sixth place to Samui Sharks and seventh to KIS Barracudas. What a way to finish this weekend. We are up to 1.30. And that does conclude our Sea Eagles Invitational 2024. Swimmers, you absolutely smashed it this weekend. What a great, fun three days we had. It's so good to have you all here this weekend. Get your breath back. You more than deserve that. And we'll be joining all of you in the sports hall at 2 p.m. That is just over 30 minutes. Please head to the sports hall ready for a two o'clock award ceremony presentation where we will be announcing all of our results. As we wrap up, I'd like to say thank you very much to all of our teams for coming to this meet. We'd like to say thank you once again to our friends from Z Coaching Foundation for streaming this meet, live streaming this meet all weekend. And of course, thank you to all of our swimmers of making this a great event. So guys, we will see you all in 30 minutes for the awards ceremony. And of course, we will see you all back next year at this Sea Eagles invite. So once again, guys, great job this weekend. Our meet has finished. For those of you watching around the world, thank you very much for watching on this live stream. It is now coming to an end as our meet has finished. And all the swimmers here live in Phuket at BISB right now. We will see you in the sports room. 30 minutes for our presentation. Thank you very much. And a very goodbye.